you ever had chili cheese fries with pastrami? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It is a. Uh... It is something. I'll, <laughs> I'll say that. And it's weird, like the cheese fries that I I do eat, like the per- the place that it makes it. Mm-hmm. I, I do okay. I do like the 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 shredded cheese and stuff, but mm-hmm. I like it with um, provolone. Oh, okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Interesting. I never heard of pastrami. It's always like cheddar or like uh, some generic American yeah. cheese or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> cheese out of the cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cheese whiz. Some people do yeah. that. Which again, it, it, cheese whiz is not looking good for you. It is not, but people eat <laughs> it, man. People put that shit in their um, the what do you call Philly cheesesteak? Yeah, people love that. And then there's the um, the people that act like a fuck. What's his name? From uh, goof uh, the Goofy movie. Oh, Goofy movie. Yes, I remember that guy. Just yes, right cheese. in your fucking yeah. mouth, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like if um, you know how like people drink, you know. You drink water. He he drink. He, he consumes cheese whiz like it's water. <laughs> I, I I wonder how much cheese whiz was sold when that movie came out. I wonder how. That's m- the part I, I'm scared to even know. <laughs> and how many kids kind of just did that? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Max, it's the it's the leaning tower cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah, that was a lot of cheese in that movie. A lot, a lot of cheese was in that movie. Cheese, well, cheese in general, because there was like the the pizza. Oh, you're right. It, it it was a lot of cheese. Uh, yeah, cheese in general. Or cheddar. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you uh okay? Let me ask you. Are you into um blue cheese? Yes, but I only eat it. I eat it on salad, oh, but if okay. it's like, like you know, out of not out of the blue, <laughs> really? I have to eat it. Eat it with like crackers, and you have to eat it with something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like with crackers or like. Do you like in a burger or something or? No. Mm, okay. Because I I think the juices kind of like depending how the the meat is prepared. Yes. The juices of that meat kind of like either overpowers the the blue cheese mm. or underpowers the blue cheese, and you just taste blue cheese, and you're like, Oh, I get it. okay. I, I see what. You, okay. Yeah. It's yeah like, I see what where's you're the meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I I am I am not into blue cheese in general. Like I I just could cannot stand it. Uh, oh, do you eat it with like uh, with the uh, buffalo wings? I know that's like a popular like thing because I know that there's a blue cheese um, dip or whatever with. Yeah, no, I um, I just eat just the buffalo wing like just straight up. I just by itself, yeah. Yeah, it's already like saucy, right? So it's already saucy and. To me, I think you just kind of like destroy the, uh, you know, the flavor of the yes of the buffalo wing. Uh, there are times though I do like it with ranch. Oh yeah, I mean ranch is like that default, like that safe, like mm-hmm. safe bet, safe bet. But sometimes when you dip in the same spot in the ranch, you know, it has a little fucking pool. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> And when you, you know, like scoop in and go like that, you're like, oh, yeah, what the oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did before, like, um, I learned it from my mom. When you're eating French fries, mm. uh, you know, when they um, give you the little ketchup, um, cup. Or a carton. Oh, yeah, a yeah, cup, yeah, a little, little cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
you're supposed to peel it to make it like fan out. So I learned that from my mom, but I also learned how, that we put a little bit extra salt in the in the um, ketchup to mm. give it a little tang. And I'm like, why do we do it? And even my mom's like, I don't fucking know. Interesting. <laughs> I like um, mixing sriracha with ketchup. I, I really like doing that. It gives it like, you know, that spice, but I like the garlickiness from the uh, sriracha and like just everything else about sriracha, just in combination of the sweetness of the ketchup. I think it like melds very well together for me anyway. And then like, but it's not the it's weird because it's not the same as buying an actual like sriracha ketchup. Yeah, it's whenever it's... you bring it together, like from separate bottles. You know, it 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 it, it that's what uh, makes it good. But if you just buy it, like buy it to sell, or if you like actually buy a sriracha ketchup bottle, it's like mm, it's not the same. It's weird. Yeah, it's it is not. Same with same with the uh, uh, hot Cheeto. You know, with the, with the lime, the lime hot Cheetos. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's not the same as getting an actual lime and then splashing it on the hot cheeto i like doing that sometimes whenever i used to consume uh, hot cheetos quite often you gotta get that fresh gotta get that fresh lime man something about it oh. man there's something about it there's something for me okay hold on i hear something i see it yeah. okay Ooh, look at you. They just came back from the store. They're like, do you want this? I'm like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Is that a... Wait, is that a Inari and... What's what's the what's the role? What, what kind of roles you get? Oh, what is that? Is that Tomaki? Uh... Uh, there's uh, Tamago and then Cucumbers. Uh, oh, it's like a combination. Daikon... Yeah, yeah. It was like a co combo roll. Okay, cool. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh, and carrots. Yeah. Looks pretty good. And I just learned that... I mean, I heard it before, but I learned that... Um, you can... T um, Japanese people will judge you on how how you hold your chopsticks oh yeah 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 if it's like this then you know you're sophisticated you're supposed to be considered sophisticated or you're well mm -hmm. knowledgeable on the and if it's like oh, like here yeah. <laughs> yeah you're considered like an idiot or <laughs> not an idiot but you know you just not, not it's a more of a negative connotation yeah <laughs> yeah when you do that yeah I mean, like, kids do that because they're still, like, learning. They're to, learning. Yeah, they're learning. Yeah. So I guess that's, that's like, kind of the image. Or stereotype, I guess, maybe. Uh, But in any case, if you're ready, I'm ready yes, to Yes, let go. me check our mic check, everybody. Can we hear? Yeah, I already, I already did my mic check, so you go ahead and do yours. Yes. La, 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 la. Yeah, I hear. Okay. I hear. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Uh, let me go ahead and, let me let me go ahead and test the this yes oh yes 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 yeah <laughs> <He's rubbing his laughs> beast beast wars megatron is like my 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 megatron like, i know i know like people have like gen g1 or whatever and stuff but i I'm I'm uh I am for Beast Wars Megatron. David K just man. I love it. Oh yeah. How oh, oh sorry, I was thinking like for like oh that's your favorite Megatron out of all the Megatrons. I was yeah. like oh yeah. My favorite Megatron is the um 
I forgot which one was the first. I think it's Energon, but that Megatron like out of. Mm, oh, you mean uh, uh, Armada? You like Armada? Yeah, uh, Armada is the first one, right? Yes, of the, the of the anime trio. Yeah, that one. That one is yeah, a close. So like... That one's pretty close because it. I mean, it's the same voice actor. First off, yeah. So yeah. Funny enough, but I just like the character of that. Yes. of how he's portrayed. Yes. Yeah. 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 But then, if you ask me, like, what is my favorite like Transformers um series? Mm. Yeah, it'll, it'll be G one, but a a big second is actually Transformers animated. Oh, okay. That one is that from the Cartoon Network one? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, animated. Yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to make sure. That's funny because David K is Optimus. Yep. That's funny. The irony is there, but no, I, I, I definitely get the, uh, the appeal, and such. I mean, at first, yeah, like a lot of people say, like, "Wow, this is fucking ugly." Because it's very different. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you look past the animation and actually dive into the story, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the human characters right. You know, that's another, that's a whole story of itself. How, depending on how like, deep, I think deep you they did go. the human characters well. Yeah. Because in other Transformers, you know, either the human characters are just sidelined super hard. Mm hmm. Or, you know, like, if you take them out, you know, it's like, the store still goes. Yes. Oh, that's funny. It says, uh, was the first Transformers series to feature David K, in which he didn't voice Megatron. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that. Uh, and then the, the crew was behind Teen Titans and, uh, Benton 10. So you can kind of, you can kind of, um... Definitely see that with the designs and such. For sure. And then apparently, yeah, uh, the animation of itself was done by Japanese studios, various Japanese studios. So that's actually pretty interesting. Is that... Uh, uh, the same thing where, go ahead, go ahead. I was like, it's the same thing, you know, like a lot of people only kind of recently found out or they knew some knew but some are like wow batman the anime series had so many studios mm -hmm. yes animating yeah including and japanese you, you could tell mm -hmm, you definitely yeah yeah it was like japanese and korean studios yeah there. and then you're saying about the logo no uh, uh, i was gonna say uh something about about uh what was I gonna say um I was talking about wait hold on I was thinking about the Japanese studio blah, blah, blah. I'm I'm trying to like trace back a little bit but um it, it's it's nothing important. I was uh, it was it's gonna be some little little micro note thing but um but yeah um Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting uh, series. I haven't, I, I didn't watch everything, uh, every episode, but I did watch like I don't know, a good like what ten or something. I forget. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I remember. This this particular one was actually pretty pro uh, popular in Japan. The uh, oh. animated, yeah, it was actually pretty popular, and it's funny because um, Megatron in the in the Japanese dub for this is Norio Norio Wakamoto, so it's like basically sell as um megatron which is fucking hilarious which i i i like because i i like um bakamoto san and then of course um i believe i believe uh optimus is uh uh tesho genda which is like you know that's a, that's like a safe pick because he's always been uh optimus But anyway, let's um get on with today's hype cast. Uh oh yeah, before I do that, uh, officially let me go ahead and uh tweet yeah. it out.
But yes, Transformers. We're gonna tweet awesome. this out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tweet this out, everyone. Welcome. Um, sorry about the weird scheduling. Mm -hmm. week. Yes, uh, we are streaming on a Sunday rather than the usual Saturday. Uh, you know, the, 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 uh, someone uh, had a party to go to, so, you know, it is what it is. That's fine, because we're here. And uh, the party will continue kind of in a way, but, you know, it's kind of, we'll, we'll, you know, we just need to chill, man, you know? Um, that's all, that's what it's all Please. about. <laughs> I, I'm looking at a... NFL scores. Oh, please, Texas. <laughs> Here's the beat the bear so I can fucking yell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Text my boss and go like, hey, fuck your bears. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your bears. <laughs> Damn, okay. Damn. <laughs> um, so... I mean, I'm happy with my team winning, Steelers. <laughs> oh, okay. I, didn't, I actually didn't know you uh, watch football. I didn't think you did. To that, to that extent. Oh, let <laughs> me get this one. That looks really funny. Fucking, uh, it's like a George Foreman grill, but as, but shaped into a PlayStation somehow. All right, anyway. <laughs> I want to see, now that you talk about the George Foreman grill, I want to see, like, someone cooking a, uh, Wagyu beef on it and just like show it to their Japanese friends and just see their reaction going like what are you doing to that, <laughs> what are you doing to that steak? Yeah, right. I'm cooking it. Mm -hmm. They say you are committing treason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks so funny. I mean I think it is like a the case. Yeah, it's just the casing. And it's just like put to which again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, what else can you do with the PS4 at this point right. in time? <laughs> what else can you do? <laughs> uh, man, that's... I mean, my, my PS4 fucking sounds like a freaking uh, jet engine when yeah. it, you know, it hits that that temperature. Mm -hmm. When it when it uh, when it has to hit the afterburners <laughs> when it's playing like Last of Us or something. <laughs> To which that's why I think, because <clears throat> I already told my boyfriend we do have you know those um, I want to get that. I know it's gonna sound not stereotypical, or whatever. Mm. You know those um Japanese um, uh, what's it called? Display shelves, the the circle mm. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I want to get that, and pretty much that will be my little shrine to. PlayStation. Oh. Like, to which I need to steal my sister's um, PS1 oh. somewhere in that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, to go like, you know, to complete the shrine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Which I, I, I might also just, I don't, we don't have the Vita anymore. Ah, I still have, yeah. I still have like PSPs. The, okay. So I can just like <laughs> the first PSP, yeah. Oh, can you uh, retweet it? Please. No. <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. Uh, but while yes, um, we are, we are streaming on the Sunday. Yes, if we haven't said it already. Uh, apparently, I guess there was some sort of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this hashtag is accurate, but there's some sort of uh, assassin, uh, another assassination attempt on Trump. So, hmm. Jeez. Well, okay. From what I gather, uh -huh. excuse me. The person wasn't even near the rally. Right. It was like a little farther away. So I'm farther like, away. how do you... mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like, how, how, how is it, you know... How is that when you're not even in the same vicinity? Right. I mean, I don't know. Uh, unless he he's like um, I forget the character's name, but from Wanted, you know, he had the oh. big ass like sniper in his fucking room, and he's like, 
looking through a telescope. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Adjusting. Yeah, wind speed, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. I don't know, man. That shit. That's, that uh, that whole that whole like that whole side has been, man. I I just roll my eyes because especially with um, when Trump said about like the uh the Haitians eating cats or some shit. I'm like, oh oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, wow. I heard yeah, when he was saying mm-hmm. when he was saying like you know they were eating cats and stuff. Okay. It is kind of a stereotype here here in Hawaii, but we make fun of it because it's kind of true, but that's like that was like way, you know, when Hawaii was, you know, still um young, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know, with people, you know, finally coming to the islands and building, you know, like Yeah. Building up buildings and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Establishing that, yeah 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 there were stories that yeah <clears throat> with the wild animals around you know mm-hmm. what can what can what you're gonna eat right yeah yeah, the yeah. wild animals so mm-hmm. we so it's kind of like yeah like it's a hawaii thing that we make fun of downtown and we always go like wow there's no cats down there it's like yeah i wonder <laughs> why <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> damn. He's like, he's like, you see that little um, bow bun that you're eating? You're welcome. Oh my god, you gotta put it like that, man. Shit. <laughs> well, um, consumptions of possibly and hopefully not domestic pets aside, uh, we do have stuff to talk about. Uh, kind of a scatterbrain. Uh, we do have a little bit of, to talk about with fighting games and the frontline side of things, games, yeah. and some uh, entertainment side of things as well. Um, so let's get right into the uh, fighting games side of things, shall we? So let's hit this. This battle is about to explode. Yes. Wait, 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 where's it? My quarter. <laughs> leave, leave your quarter there, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, quarter, quarter's up because uh, Noob Cybot was dropped in a uh, gameplay trailer. So, yeah, he was dropped on his head. Yeah, dropped on his head. <laughs> 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 I mean, we are, ta- we are talking about Bihan, so yes. Yeah. Yes, and he was dropped on his head. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, uh, I'm I am uh screen sharing right first off. Yep, yep. Okay. You, you is. Okay. Just want to make sure. I like this design. It's pretty cool. Johnny Cage looks stupid. <laughs> yeah. You sound like Bai Han. Bai Han. Nothing. He's <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> He's got some sort of bomb thing now, like uh, M. Bison. Kind of interesting. This is what you are meant to do. I am not allowed to desire a different future. Your desires are not at issue. It is your methods for achieving them. I just like that that look that Noob Saibot yeah. on game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking like mm-hmm. you just insult me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> what did you say? I run that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have its will will not be done. Interesting costume for Tanya. Or yeah, just... a lot of people that I was reading in comments saying that why wasn't this her default? Screen? Yes. Not 
I do like the the oh. little hints that mm. it it is still behind because he did the uh the slide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yes. glacial slide. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? He's got like hands on his belt. That's wow. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna throw hands. He's gonna throw hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I like the I like the portal thing that he's doing. And here comes fatality. A little um nod to his uh, his old fatality. Yeah, yeah, like a, the spinal doing, doing the. Mm -hmm. I think it was called wishbone. Yeah. I think uh, yeah spine pull thing and he turns into a croc that's funny for his animal fatality oh yeah and then that amalities which yeah. which somebody was like why why are they croc wouldn't it be reptiles like well reptiles are already a fucking reptile, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're you're kind of hitting the nose on that <laughs> way on the nose yeah i think that yeah here the uh i think he's about to do also another reference too for um whatchamacallit Mortal Kombat 9 when he um he, he and his shadow like pull from the legs and then they like just split the victim into two slowly maybe I don't know because they just cut it off right there so I don't know yep uh new cyborg is there uh that is though all the um the Mortal Kombat characters for the season pass. And then we're going to have the guest characters coming in uh, after that for that point on. So why does Conan look chubby? He looks very wide. <laughs> yeah. I guess they really wanted to accentuate his width. <laughs> I mean, Arnold didn't have a big been, chest, yeah. to be fair. He, he yeah. had a very big chest back in the day, especially. When, yes, you know, when um, steroids weren't uh, regulated. But even so, I mean, in comparison to other bodybuilders who pretty much did the same, Arnold still had a pretty f big fucking chest. Yeah. So I guess maybe they wanted to um, bring it out, but maybe a little, maybe it's a little too much. I don't know. They just looked at the slider and just yeah. like, yep. <laughs> Bigger. More, <laughs> like what? That, that this is fine. No, more. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. So there's a class. Well, more combat three noob side bot. More combat three sub. Wedding a uh, scorpion, and Empress Melina. Okay. Uh, interesting. So I mean, Smash. yeah. <laughs> Would you uh or um. Well, would you smash this new cyborg? I mean, <laughs> do you, do you, do you... I mean, it's a two, it's a two, it's a two for one special. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you have a point. You have a point. Um, yeah. So you... I can get, I can get split apart. <laughs> sure. <laughs> God. Uh, any, any other comments though for newbie here? I guess it's a, not a design choice, but like. I wish his because you see green, right? Yes. I wish his eyes was green to to mm. kind of match, but then it's a little bit too ermacky. So yeah, maybe could it could have been a different color. Yes, maybe purple or something. Maybe purple could have been. Well, that that's Jax, but Jax is a, an assist character for whatever reason at this point. But <laughs> I say he did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, his, one of his variants died for sure because it's fucking havoc smashed his face or whatever. At the end of the you scene. have something on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um. I don't know. I mean, I think it's a cool design. I don't know if it's the best noob cybot design, but uh, I mean, it's it's. I I would say it's up there as a more casual MK fan. Uh, maybe the what do you call the the headpiece or whatever these parts. Oh, his uh, his dog ears. Dog, his little Can ears, ears. The little little ears on the side are a little much, I would say. 
maybe like bring it down either like um reduce it or not have oh, it that says extra that says um extra hands <laughs> they're, they're they're pushing like like this <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. That'd be, that would be pretty weird to have. He would have like hands everywhere, like besides his belt. He have his on his head, his back, his his arms. You know, yep. acting like a uh, like weird pauldrons. You know, you, you know those those shoulder armor pauldrons yep, yep. or what do you call them? Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah, this the this this look he gives him like bitch. <laughs> what you call me? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Run that by me again. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, man. I'm surprised you got a three-minute trailer, though, too. I, I How long were the other trailers as of recent? Yeah, three minutes, three minutes. Um, Decatur is like two and a half. Oh, no, almost three minutes. Probably because um, I think... Oh yeah, but yeah, it's because they're part of the story. That's why they got a little bit longer. Whereas Takeda is like not so much. And then of course, you know, Homeland Oh, Homelander got a three minute fucking trailer. Never mind. I mean it is Homelander, I'll give it that, but uh Oh, okay. It seems like it's a standard then for characters to get three minute trailers. The only exception is probably um, Quan Chi, who got two and a half minutes, but that's still quite a bit in comparison to like other. Um, uh, oh no! Well, to be fair, I guess Quan Chi does have some story scenes, right, or cutscenes, I think. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's that is pretty much that. Other, other than, yeah, you know, it's noob. Pretty sure his gameplay will be something. Hope uh, I don't. Again, I don't know how he'll uh, fare in the competition side of things, but um, I feel like Sector could be up there, maybe with the missiles. But we'll see. Um, and, and then Cyrax behind, right behind Sector. We'll see. But yeah. All right. So uh, more on the WB side of things, right? Um, multiverses, right? As much as it's been kind of like on the quiet side, it's still kind of interesting to talk about because, um, of the characters they announce, especially this one as of late. So let's just, let's just play it. Long ago, an epic fighting game hit the streets, leaving many to wonder, what is multiverses? Multiverses. What the fuck? Fighters, but who will be next? Uh, why is everyone talking about Tugs? For those without multiverses, life can feel empty and boring. But luckily, one thing can end this nightmare. Play multiverses. Play multiverses. Just play multiverses. That's right. What's with the toast? To beat the boredom out of you. The hit fighting game just keeps getting bigger and bigger with brand new stages from across the multiverse. That's the Powerpuff Girls stage, by the way, Townsville. And there's new costumes. Okay, that was pretty funny. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my god. Do you know where your Mogwai is? Dead. <laughs> Dead, I ate it. Right. Um, so this end screen it was a big hint of who was revealed besides the silhouettes, right? And if it wasn't so obvious already, um, it's... Oops. Uh, let me go back. Hit this. Yes, it's the Powerpuff Girls. And um, I forget her name. It's it's a character from Wonder Woman. 
Um, let me go down for a second here. Oh my God, who who drew this? Oh wow, that's a that is a drawing of female Jason. <laughs> and and fucking <laughs> multiverses re uh, retweeted that. Okay, wow. Well, actually, there's like masks. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so let me head down to um, the actual trailer. Let me see. Where is it? Reactions. I don't want reactions. Okay. Um, I think I have it here, actually. Okay, no. Sorry about that. Where Where is the trailer? Bruh. <laughs> they didn't did they not post their own trailer here? Nope. Or they have not. Okay, let me let me let me uh <laughs> look this up right now. Sorry about that. But yes, it is the Powerpuff Girls um along with the character from Wonder Woman uh, side of things. Uh that's the gameplay trailer. Let me see. Da -da -da -da. Wonder Woman. <laughs> ah, the city of Townsville, a perfect site of tranquility. Well, actually, there is only one group of adorable heroes who could return this universe to order. <gasps> Wait a minute, is that? Somebody call for some heroes. Thank you, man. I don't think it's the same exact voice actors, but... Yes, I was gonna say, that doesn't... Yeah, I don't think that's their strong as Bubbles. No. Buttercup sounds like Buttercup, but I'm not sure if it's the same. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, they got the variant uh, for... Or with um the Rowdy Rough Boys. Where's their uh, fourth sister? No, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's such a. Oh man, that's actually pretty depressing. Like when you, yeah, when you when you rewatch that, it's like, damn. Yeah. yeah but then you know, like when you watch other episodes of Pop Up Girls or Cartoon Network in general, back in like the mid 90s up to the early 2000s, 2000s they got yeah. away with a lot of shit they did no they absolutely did they were pretty unhinged with like some subjects too yeah i mean my favorite one for power of girls is um i guess it was the new neighbors kid mm. oh this is the professor he made us in a lab on accident oh that's cool i was an accident too <laughs> right. like, <laughs> yeah it's like what I, I actually remember that. Wow. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Right. I mean, of course, like, wow. when, yeah, when you're, when you're, um, when you're younger, of course, that kind of like flies over your head for some people, at least for some people. But like, yeah, when you, but when, especially when you grow up though, it's like, when you look, look back on that, it's like, wow, they actually like said it like that, you know, like, geez. Um, Judging from like their brief gameplay, they do look pretty annoying, right? Because it's like three people, blah blah blah. <laughs> like, um, I wonder though. Let me see. Well, uh, yeah, I I don't think they showed off her. I think her name is like new, new, new. Is it starts, starts with an N? I forget what it was. Uh, let me look that up here. Um, blah blah blah. Um. Oh, Nubia. I don't know if you're familiar with Nubia. Hmm. Um. Let me see. Wonder Woman. She might be one of the newer characters. No, she's. Wait, I'm confused. Okay. Oh no. Okay. So she, okay. She she was from the the seventies. Okay. 
Interesting. So she is also um oh wow. It says Nubia was Wonder Woman's black sister created from black clay, as Diana was created from white clay. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Okay. Um I know about the clay thing, but yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't specifically know there's like black and white clay, all that stuff. Okay. Uh, both were brought to life by Aphrodite, yes. Um, but Nubia was stolen by Ares slash Mars. Um, so Nubia did not get the powers that was given to Diana. Okay. Uh, Mars raised Nubia to be his warrior, giving, giving her a special ring to keep her mind clouded. Years later, Diana met Nubia, who became her roommate. Okay. After several battles, Wonder Woman was able to release Nubia from Mars' control when she used the heat of the sun reflected from her bracelets to cause the ring to expand and fall off. Nubia defied Mars and op uh, option to lead her warriors to the ways of peace. It was then that Queen uh, Hippolyta okay, um, revealed the truth. Nubia was Diana's sister. Okay. So, um, so that's her, I guess, bit of her, uh, origin story ish. Interesting. I, I, I have no idea that she was a thing, but yeah. Um, did you, are you familiar with this character at all? Um, I want to say yes, but then it's like, I cannot really pinpoint where I might, it might've been like one of the, like movie um you know those uh animated movies that have, mm -hmm. like all of them might have mm. been there because it does not appear she has been in any uh animated thing at all like she's always mm. been in comics of course that's a given but the only other appearance was just some like a costume for um dc universe online um well that's about it Really? So, oh, there's no. Is this a comic book series? Oh no, actually. Uh, Super Friends. I think she was on Super Friends. Apparently, okay. Maybe that might have been the one animated thing that she appeared in. I'm not sure. But um. Oh wow. Okay. So mostly comics. Very, very little in the animation department, but now she's appearing in the video game. So there you go. She'll get some form of exposure more. So that's cool. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all for, you know, characters that don't have as much limelight to be thrown in there to pretty much like being given a chance to um get that opportunity. So that's cool. Uh, I do like the fact that, yes, the Rowdy Rough Boys is a variant skin and they do have different voices so that's actually really cool um that's the one thing i'll definitely give multiverses uh, for sure because of that little detail and feature with the variant costumes but yeah you know it's the powerpuff girls brings back memories um one that comes to mind for sure is the um the episode with the mecha, right? They had like a megazord kind of thing or mech, um, the robot. Oh, yeah. When it was totally unnecessary, but they just, um, what do you call Professor Utonium, uh, Utonium wanted to use them anyway because, you know, why not, right? Um, and then, like, I think by the end of the episode, they caused so much destruction on Townsville or whatever. Like, I, th I think they wound up not using using it you know it was kind of like a one-off thing but they it, it does appear like in the background or something here and there as like a cameo or whatever um and of course you know mojo jojo is i think he's somewhere in the stage or something i, I forget what it was mm -hmm. um he did appear in multiverses if, I, if i'm not mistaken but um, I don't know. Did you have any comments about this choice or pop of girls in general?
I mean, as much as, yeah, I want more with Joe Jojo. Mm -hmm. Where's him? Oh, him. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, he was always like painted as like as like the you know the most evil villain in the show or whatever. But yeah, he still got his ass whooped by the end of the day. You know, it was like, oh, it's him. Like you know, <laughs> that kind of sort of um, dialogue or line. Whenever people talked about him, yeah, it was always like uh, it was. The what do you call like the not 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 like the big three, but like the three popular ones for villains is always like Mojo Jojo, Fuzzy Lumpkins, Lumpkins, and um, him. That was always the those three, I think. And I remember the Gang Green Gang. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I remember how Ace, uh, the leader, became one of the new members of um the Gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> you know they do come off very much like the gorillas <laughs> um oh remember remember uh when uh there was the episode when buttercup fell in love with ace or whatever and they kind of like yeah. i think they went and on a... when you when you when you think about it it was like mm, i mm, i you know <laughs> right well, how old is Ace though? I never knew. I never like remembered how old he was. I I always assumed he was like a like a uh, like a teen or whatever. Let me see. Um, I'm I'm typing with one hand. Hold on. Oh shit! There we go. Oh my god! What the fuck are these? <laughs> these variants. Okay. Anyway, what the hell is this? Um, okay. <laughs> anyway. Oh, he's 17. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Huh. But how is, uh, the Powerpuff Girls? That's, the, that's, that's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, kindergartners. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, like you said, man. <laughs> yeah, but it is what it is, man. Because you know, um, he he was trying to essentially control Buttercup, right? Lesson learned. And then, but at the end of the at the end of the episode, Buttercup, I believe, whooped the shit out of um Ace along with the rest of um the Gangrene Gang. I wonder, um, who are the other villains? Sedusa, yes. Princess, I remember her. All the <laughs> the Amoeba boys, yes, yes. Oh, I remember the episode when they when they got sick, and then like somehow like they got everyone else sick, right? It was the coronavirus. <laughs> and then yeah and then um but it was weird because like um the cure though was themselves was very weird but i guess they, they had to make a vaccine from the amoeba amoeba boys themselves <laughs> that's oh man memories memories um power punk girls what the hell is this is this from the new one? What the fuck? I do I do not remember this. Huh. In a parallel universe, blah blah blah. What what the fuck? When did they uh debuted? Let me see. Oh, also, Powerpuff Girls in Japan, pretty also pretty popular too. I, especially back in the day, um, they even had their own anime, right? Um, let me look that up real quick. I know, I know, I'm like going on quite a bit for Proud of Girls, but you know, uh, anime. Yeah, it's Powerpuff Girls Z. That's what it was. 
from 06. Jesus Christ. And yes, these were the designs for um, the pop of girls. Yep. They had like extra stuff too. Like, I, I guess Bubbles had a staff and then uh, Bu Blossom used, um, used yo yo's and then Buttercup had the hammer. And uh, yeah, I gotta admit, man, th these designs were pretty, pretty cool. Um, wait, what the fuck? Aria Babu was in it? What the fuck? That's so weird. The Dark Legion? What the fuck? Oh my god. Remember I Am Weasel? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there was um the whole cow and chicken thing, and then I Am Weasel... Ira Baboon, and then the big red guy, remember? And then, he, <laughs> and then for some reason, they always had play around like the jokes about his ass. <laughs> he had like a big ass. <laughs> man, I, I, I miss um, like 90s and 2000s cartoons, man. They just have fun with it. Yep. Now it's like, uh, I don't know. It's definitely not the same. Um,. Yeah, even like the uh the um the designs for the villains were pretty sick. I'm trying to see if I can like find some. Hold on. Let me see. Pop of girls. We yeah, got wiki, here we go. Um Oh yeah, the girls had like actual names too, which is like the Japanese names, or whatever. But yep. the, whenever they transform, they have, you know, Bloss, Hyper Blossom, Rolling Bubbles, and Powered Powder Cup. Okay. And then here's Professor Utonium, right? Yeah, you got the square design, right? Kind of kind of giving off some uh, Sam, uh, Samurai Jack vibes, right? A little bit, because it's the same yep. creator. But that's, that's, that's the Professor in Z, which is pretty funny. Very, um... Like animeified. I'm surprised he, was, he they gave him pink. Kind of surprised. Um. And then Miss Bellum. Remember Miss Bellum? The face always covered. <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, what the hell? Did they actually reveal? Okay. Huh. It was it was like a small like, reveal. And stuff. Okay. I mean, I guess at some point, but still, I'm still, I do not remember that for sure. It's very, very blurry on that part. Oh, I remember this though. I remember she was like whooping, whooping, um, Seduce's ass for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember this. <laughs> the hair and everything. Yes. Um, where's her, uh, what do you call it? Her anime appearance. Hold on. I'm trying to see. There we go. God, God damn. <laughs> Remember the mayor? The mayor. The mayor. Yes. Oh my God. Man, that mayor was a lucky man. All right. Anyway, sorry. Um. Oh, that's weird. No, um, okay, well, anyways, okay, I'm, I'm, uh, dragging it on a, uh, a little too, too far or too much. Mm -hmm. Anyways, point being, they're, they're, they're quite popular. They're quite popular. Yes, they are. Mm hmm. Uh, to the point where even Japan had their own series for Pop of Girls. And then, you know, um, that definitely influenced, in some ways, more than one, at least, for um, Panty and Stalking, right? You know, the series from Trigger? Definitely. You know, so. Goes to show of how popular um, Pop of Girls is. And some people just don't really think about it, right? So, anyways, kind of nice that yeah they're in multiverses but too bad the game of itself is very very grindy so you have to pretty much buy away if you want to kind of keep up with the uh 
the game, unfortunately. And that will just wind up costing a lot of money. Like, that's kind of bad, even as a free-to-play game. Because I feel like they should just treat it like uh, Overwatch, right? Like, give the characters for free, but uh, make the money from the costumes and such. Cosmetic stuff. Yep, yep. Well, at least that was, well, Overwatch back in the day. Whereas now, I think in Overwatch 2, right? You have to grind for in the battle pass, which... Uh. I got what what's her face, um, Hiriko, and that's about it. That was that was like my that was where I drew the line. I'm like, nope, fuck this. I don't like this grind. I'm out. But unfortunately, I think Multiverses is suffering from that as well. Despite, yeah, they're still going with this. So it, I guess it's going on strong enough for them to do all this stuff. Right, you got the variants, you got the characters, of course. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so sorry. Let me see. I think there was a gameplay trailer, so we can just take a look at that for um, Pop of Girls, because you can kind of get a better idea of how they play, which I imagine them being annoying. Let me see. Uh. Yes, right here. Move sets. Oh, the music, yes. Oh, wow, you can actually switch to Power Buff Girls, right. Um, Each leader applies different uh, unique attributes. Bubbles is the fastest, which, which uh, with less knockback. Buttercup is slower with more power uh, knockback. <laughs> Blossom is balanced. Okay. So it's basically kind of like um, with how they did with uh, oh, what was her name or what? Are they, or excuse me, their names from Smash Ultimate was uh, um, Pyra and Mithra, right? Oh, Pyra, yeah. Yes, basically. And then, yes, and a little more branching off with Pokemon, right? The Pokemon? Yep. Yeah. You know how, like, yeah, they have Squirtle as, like, the fast one, Charizard being the heavy one, Ivysaur being the quote-unquote balanced one. Kind of like that. Except it's, the Switch is instant. Oh, that's, that looks annoying. Punch combo, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Hotline pincer. Uh, charge and attack, hanging up the uh, hotline, splitting and uh, flying left and right, then back together. Oh, it's just a down smash, basically. Or, no, it's a down tilt. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Air neutral. Okay. Or nair. Forward air. Up air. Stomp. Down there. Yep, down there. Yep, there. Oh, I remember uh, Blossom got uh, the ice breath. I definitely remember that as well. Yeah, so you can kind of see, like, what they do exactly. Tackle time. Ooh. Special attacks, yep. So oh, you can. Yeah, pretty much, right? Swapsies? So quickly swap into the leader position. The most the with the most or back most girl hitting uh enemies upward. Oh, okay. Interesting. So okay, there's some <laughs> interesting things about the pop of girls, and then you have like the really basic attacks. Right. But Okay. I can kind of see them being um, potentially annoying, right? But yeah, 
Either way, it's Powerpuff Girls. So that's um, pretty nice. I wonder, like, okay. I know that might be a cheap cop out, but I kind of want to see the same thing almost with um, Ed and Eddie. That would be pretty funny because, you know, you have like the parallels with um, Ed and Eddie and Pop of Girls. Of course, you have Ed as like the big heavy guy, right? The tank. And then um, Double D will be like, I don't know, like, like the trickster almost. Oh, no, not trickster, but like the. Um, like because he's like the genius, he'll like bring out the the inventions, and then Eddie will yep. be like I don't know. I guess he'd be the trickster then, or something because he's the nah, one. He's just he, he's he's gonna scam like, um, the characters. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he'll he'll so he'll, probably like swap swap um the health or percentage. Yeah, I put apply like some yeah. debuffs. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool. And potentially annoying, right? Yeah, that, that would be pretty fun, you know? You got, you got like, the... Kind of like the parallel characters, right? Kind of like how, yep. you know, Street Fighter does it anyway. Because you have, like, three fucking shadows, right? Or four, if you want to count Luke. But, um... Yeah, they can definitely pull that off, um... Uh, uh, for one way to bring in Ed, Ed and Eddie, for sure. The Ed boys. Uh, but yeah. Um, that is it for that. Went on a bit of a, quite a bit of a tangent for uh, Pop of Girls. Because again, you know, impact, a lot of stuff. But a game that could leave some sort of impact, potentially, is a game called Bite, uh, Bite Breakers. Right. This is supposed to be a 40 player battle royale platinum fighter coming uh as a beta of September 13th. So uh already already has happened, right? Or, or the beta has already begun. Um I haven't seen gameplay on it though strangely. So I don't know what's going on with that. But um yeah, but, but, but it's a it's a hush hush thing. Maybe is it is I mean hmm. We're back. This time Oh what the fuck? Japanese subtitles? That's weird. Or captions. Cool. That's interesting. Wow. It looks like they're trying to appeal to um Japanese audiences as well because you know people play Smash in Japan, of course. With some fun Smash. Yes. Heard from us, and since then, the whole I have no idea this was even going on, so this is all new to me. Let's see, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna skip around a little bit. Oh, wow, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. You know what this reminds me of? It's it reminds me of the um, oh, what was that shit called in Smash? Like when you remember you had to like run through the level all the way down to the other side or whatever. What was that called? Oh my god. Um. Uh, I. It was in melee. I I. I it, it no, it wasn't classic mode. It I think it was adventure mode or something. I, it was something like yeah. that. But oh man, I forgot the the exact mode for it. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. Because if you look at how big the stage is, look at that. It's like huge, right? Huge. Yeah, like if you look at this building, and then like the other side, you got the bottom. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. But yeah, that's what that's what's actually reminding me of. Actually, um, actually. So, conceptually, that is a pretty good idea, right? To make that into some sort of, like, Battle Royale. Um, fighting game fighting game of sorts. And yeah, make it like a Smash clone. Yeah, why not? Because that's, like, such a more accessible um, style for general audiences. Because people love Smash, right? Mm. 
Um, let me see. Uh, is there any more gameplay stuff? Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so... Interesting lineup already, right? If you look at the character designs, very much more on, like, the gacha, like, RPG sort of market, right? Because you got the waifus on one side, at least. You got some husbandos. But if you look at the male side, too, like, damn, they're really trying to, like, make them, like, like hot, like, you know, sexy, like appealing to both sides. So I, th I think that's uh, actually pretty cool. So it won't be just waifus. They'll have uh, the husbandos as well. So I think with just based off of that, this seems to be more promising than what Rumbleverse tried to be kind of right. Um, I kind of have fun with it, uh, especially during duels with Rumbleverse, but I think it had key things for live service kind of um, not done well, right? You you remember Rumbleverse, right? You know, um, a number of like fighting game, you know, the fighting game content creators like were trying to stream it and trying to make it as big as possible, but um. That conceptually was great, but I think the execution could have been better with the uh, how the live service could have been. Because there wasn't really much to it, because other than some costumes and such, but um, and the character designs were kind of like okay. Let me let me let me bring this up real quick. Rumble first, yeah. right? So why do you bringing that up? I kind of want to say this thing. They they look more appealing than you know. Concord. Concord, yes, yeah, yes. That's also of an issue of itself, right? Um. I mean, I don't want to call this like bad character design, but it's definitely not like for everyone, right? It's you know very very over cartoony. Um, yeah. You know. Very, it was stylized. Oh, very, very much stylized for sure, right? So it wasn't like ugly in a per, per se, but it wasn't like appealing enough. I think that's what that's I think that's the key word for it. It wasn't enough. I mean, I can look at this all day more in comparison to a Concord, right? You know. Um, for sure. But um I think those important checkboxes weren't quite checked off that well. Whereas this, you got like the anime designs, which people love anime, of course. You got like the waifu kind of material. Of course, you got like some of the you, you got you got you got like one cute, cute character already. The what do you call the the um, skin tones, right? You got the skin skin colors and everything already checked off. That's fine. Um, the you got various designs, right, going on. You know, it's not a hero shooter, right? That's why you don't really need no. to have. A storytelling for the, for each co uh, character, right? You kind of go, so you kind of kind of go can go ham, right? Oh, you got yeah. the cool ponytail fighter chick. Oh, you got the the cat girl. Oh, you got um a more muscular looking chick, right? You got the sophisticated businesswoman with the hime haircut. Oh, you got the pigtail little girl. You know, you know what I mean? Like that. That's already like right, very basic, but you know, people like those designs. Yep. You know, yeah, you, you already have that much there. Um, so I think it is a, a definitely appealing to the right market with all the right check marks and everything. As long as they, you know, balance out the game right or whatever, then the costumes are cool and then the newer characters are cool or whatever uh, else, you know, that may, you know, be... Uh, happening and such for for bike breakers but i think they already have a more, much more promising um uh, start as long as they just keep updating the game and and such now um let me see the uh 
It's on Steam. I'm not so sure if it's coming out for consoles and such, because I think that really would uh, help uh, get the game going too. Because it says only, yeah, first play test access, uh, accessible on North America servers only. Um, yeah. So it's pretty much like kind of semi-closed beta kind of thing. It's still in the beta phase, so it's still being worked on, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, even they even like make a claim right here. It says, we're so early with this thing that we might not even make this game. And parts of it will be buggy and unfinished. So they're still working on it for sure. Yeah, I mean, like, even the graphics already are getting there and definitely could look better for sure. But they don't look horrible, especially for, <clears throat> um, if this is a paid, a, the beta, right? Or, um, an early build. The, what do you call it? the UI looks pretty cool. Um, neat. Yeah, you get, you have like, yeah, you have like armor pieces, abilities, I guess you can pick up. Um, kind of like how Rumbleverse was doing. Yeah. There's some moments in whatever the background song is. It's like, I want to play in the Shibino. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's got that nice energy going. The vibes, for sure. Yeah, hopefully they actually follow through. Because I yep. would like to see something like this be like, you know, kind of up there. Because I think, I think it's yep. this is a, such a nice idea, right? Essentially, a Smash clone BR um, game. But, you know, the only thing, though, is because there's so many live service games up to, up to this point, um, how well will it compete with those games, right? Because, you know, yeah. you, you know, you, you know, like, we're, we're both playing Zenless. I'm playing Genshin. I'm also playing Star Rail, that stuff, right? So that is going to be... <laughs> God damn it. And you're play also playing fake go, yes. Point being, live service, that market is so saturated that it's definitely it's hard. It's saturated mm. and it's not every game needs to have this, uh, you know, be based around it. It's mm -hmm. like... Yeah. At least though, this is a little more creative and um, unique that there isn't really a smash br game right now a smash like br game so i'll give them that for sure but now it's just a matter of like the end result are people actually going to make their way to just put their time into this game because that's what really it's all about it's um time some uh your time your money potentially and um you know they gotta definitely put the work into it too for sure you know, Romaverse tried. It was a very respectable attempt, but um, just to, just to, just those important like aspects for live service, especially in the gotcha, uh, not gotcha, but like this the live service space. You really have to like be able to be like, hey, you know, we um, we deserve your time, right? Why? You know, that kind of thing. So if you compare this, just character designs alone. Um, to this, right? You know. Who, 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 who's going to grab it? Who's going to, um, like the general audience today are going to gravitate more likely, right? I think that, I think it's this. Because of how popular anime is right now. How popular, 
you know, these sort of designs right now, you know, the whole wife uh, stuff and, you know, uh, not, and not only that, like, um, husband, uh, uh, husbandos stuff. Um, any, any comments for, um, bite breakers or this, you know, BR smash game kind of thing? I mean, besides saying, you know, like, good art it looks good art style it does it's gonna appeal to some you know some general audience mm -hmm. but pretty much as they said like they don't know if it's gonna actually like launch yes yeah that's the thing right you know what that girl the suit looks like um oh my god it's like right on the tip of my tongue but I forget the name because I haven't watched it, so it's not like quite cemented in my head. Um, it's one of those romance ones, romance animes. Let me see. Um, let me see. hold on. Let me see. Romantic shows. Ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not that. Uh, wait, wait, let me see. It's yeah, okay. Never, definitely not that. Um, definitely not dress up, darling. I know that's like a very popular one. Uh, definitely not Sora Online. Oh, this one, yes, that's what it was. Uh, Call Me Can't Communicate. That's what it was. Do, are you familiar with that? Are you familiar with this character? Like, I think it's on Twitter anyway. No? Yes? No. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Like, especially this shot right here. Kind of, kind of like that. Uh, the deadpan shot. Like, the, yeah, see, look at, yeah, see the, 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 the deadpan hmm. eyes. Yeah. There you go. I think that's an official one. Yeah. Um. I I mean I seen the other picture of her, the one with the big eyes. Yeah, yeah, like this shot. one. Yeah, <laughs> when I've she's seen like... that one. Mm -hmm. Like but that one. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sit on the me. Yes, I know of it, but I don't know like what really this is all about. Other than the fact that I'm assuming she's supposed to be silent or something. Thirty dollars down the drain. Woo! <laughs> Are you actually yeah. pulling on FGO? Oh, no, there's nothing on FGO I want. It's a Johnny. Oh, are you actually pulling more? I mean, from what I know of Hoyoverse characters, you at least want one copy of the um, you know, the S unit. Yeah. You at least want one, mm -hmm. so it can deliver the extra damage. But if you are whale, you go all the way. Yeah, yeah. Unlike you know, I I mean, it's kind of like Fate Go, you know, yeah. the Nova Phantasm. Mm -hmm. If you get at least one extra copy, at least your your um Nova Phantasm hits a little harder. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't want to say it's future proofing, but yeah, it's definitely like you know, it it, it ensures that they're they can keep up with it's, the. It's um, yeah, it's content, um, pr um, proofing. That yes, you can just walk into a a high level con current content and just go done yeah. next. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much like how I did it with um, Firefly and Star Rail because she is E two right now. Like she, I I got three copies of her. Pretty much. And she's like whooping still, you know. But now the question is how much money or was it all saved and you just did Hail Marys? Well I well I dropped a hundred because it because of the top of bonus. Uh, yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. The thing is though, um I also got her well weapon, quote unquote, her signature weapon, which um, in this case it's um light cone. So 100 100 and then plus all the shit that i saved 
you know so you kind of imagine how that went but um mm -hmm. i got it right and so um but that was only that's only like a one-time thing most likely because the top of bonus goes away when you you know buy your first time right mm -hmm. you know you 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 kind of seen it firsthand with um zenless that's kind of how they work yeah yeah so oh well but yeah we'll see how they do the live service stuff are they gonna like add more costumes or just characters you know are they gonna like do like a you know summer version of these waifus and husband husbandos i don't know it's gonna be um you're gonna have summer outfits mm -hmm. summer outfits um yeah balancing as you know like i said already we'll see because it is such a cool idea and i think they're already like again like have a lot of potential to stay uh in the market longer than rumbleverse is that i think rumbleverse only lasted for like a year right um no, six months, excuse me. So half a month, half a year. I mean, you could say that's not as bad as Concord, obviously, right? Because Concord only lasts nine days at max. Right. Um, so yeah. That's it for that. Uh quick news on Marvel vs. Capcom collection. It's been taking it off pretty well, right? Other than some problems here and there, including, um, let me get rid of all this other stuff. Um, the physical edition for the European one is just, um, a, co a, a code in the box essentially. So you don't even get like, um, a disc, a disc or whatever. Right. But yeah, just, just a code. Now this is just for. Oh no, this is for the Switch. Oh wow. Swate. Really? Oh man, that's uh. Capcom Europe has confirmed that the physical edition of the long awaited Marvel's Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics for the Switch will be a code inbox deal for Europe. North American and Japanese versions should have a cartridge per earlier announcement. Um, however, in the, the PS4 version will still get, still get a disc, but for the switch in Europe, we'll only have a code. That's pretty dumb. Cause why only Europe? Right. I don't know what the deal with deal with is, or I don't know what the deal is with Europe. Right. I don't know why they're doing that when two other major regions are getting the cartridge uh seemingly right so that is uh kind of eye rolling right um meanwhile people like uh, maximilian dude reported that um the lobbies and matchmaking were broken and that was the number one issue well luckily capcom has already acknowledged that through the uh, Street Fighter Twitter, acknowledging that this is an issue, uh, and, are, they, and they are investigating the problem. So that's good. They're on top of it. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah th 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 there's just two versions of the tweet, or same tweet, and I don't think they've had fixed it since yet, but they've but they acknowledged it, yes. And yeah, it's only been, it's only been a day, so let's just give them time. So hopefully, by the sometime in uh, the following week, that will be uh, not an issue. Uh, but yep. Yeah, other than that, um, it is out for digital. But if you want the physical col uh, version, right, that's the one with the collection stuff. Yeah, uh, definitely get ready for that. Um, uh, but yeah. Let's um, head right over to the frontline side of things. Um, let's go ahead and hit this.
we were definitely not ready for this, unfortunately, though, uh, with the passing of James Earl Jones, legendary actor slash voice actor in the industry, right, of entertainment, especially for some of the most iconic villains, or uh, right, as Darth Vader, right? He always, to me, will definitely always be Darth Vader. Along with that, though, he has voiced um, other iconic characters like Mufasa from Lion King and such um you know even like other movies such as sandlot right he was like essentially the uh i believe he was the blind dude right yep. in sandlot but yes he has appeared in uh other such movies but movies tv shows tv shows yes for sure like the big bang theory mm -hmm. which that um special episode was the actual first time both James Earl Jones and um Carrie Fisher met mm. in person. Oh wow. Damn. So yeah. <laughs> and it's like um one of uh those, you know, um behind the scenes um interviews with James Earl Jones. Mm-hmm. Harry Fisher, you know, didn't call James Earl Jones, you know. Oh, hi, son, James. No, she's like, oh, hi, dad. Because, you know, Carrie Fisher played Princess Leia mm -hmm. in Star Wars. And mm -hmm. so it was like, you know what? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, you can definitely see his <laughs> pretty much his um, work, right? A lot. He goes way, way back. Uh, all the way back to as early as 1966. At least on IMDb, anyway. Um, man, yeah. The world was not ready for that, for sure. Especially for who are big fans of like Star Wars and all that stuff. He has such a, um, that presence, right? Yep. You know, especially when he first came back to voice Darth Vader during like Rogue One. I was like, oh man, that was, man, like, like it was such a good reminder of like why Earl Jones it, uh, was Darth Vader, right? Why was he chosen and stuff like that to voice, you know, one of the most iconic movie villains of all time? Uh, also, but, you, you could you could tell that his voice was, you know, not leaving him, but you know, you, you could tell the difference. You, you can you can hear you can like tell the age, right? You know, yeah, age is uh, doesn't did a number on him. In, in some ways, at least. And yes, he was 93. You know, um, pretty much like around uh, my grandmother when uh, when she passed. So, you know, it was pretty, pretty good, good long life for sure. But um, all we can say at this point is thank you for all your work, man. You know, yeah. left a big old, big old, I would say big old um, footprint in the uh, entertainment industry. You know, because he got to be the voice of, like I said, like, one of the movie villains, you know. Uh, anything you wanted to say for for the man? He's just up there now. Mm -hmm. Now he can go say hi to um, Carrie Fisher, you know. Pretty much. But yeah, it, it's definitely one of those things. It's like, yeah, he definitely lived uh, quite a long time. So, yeah. So, uh, he got a good life. He had a good life. Good life for sure, yeah. So, may he uh, rest in peace and uh, deepest condolences to all family and friends. So, again, thank you. 
Um, another unfortunate passing, though. Uh, in this case, though, uh, she was uh, a little, a little, a little, a little too young to uh, unfortunately pass away. And uh, uh, her name, her name was uh, Emi Shinohara. Shinohara-san. Uh, she actually was the uh, original voice actress for uh, Sailor Jupiter. Right. Um, first off, yeah, she she passed unfortunately passed away at sixty one due to a unspecified illness of sorts. Um. But yeah, she, you know, like kind of like uh, Earl Jones, she also had some uh, voice, some I very iconic characters in in um in this industry as well, including um, Jupiter, but also the Japanese voice for Bayonetta, I believe. Uh, I have the uh, list right here, essentially. Um, so when you look at this, like, right, she voiced a lot of like moms and like, um, Older women, for the most part, some some like little characters, and funny. She also voiced um, Naruto's mom, essentially, uh, Kushino Uzumaki. Yeah. Yep, yep. And uh, also, um, uh, what was it? The mother of uh, Misaka, right? Uh, in Scientific Railgun. You, so you kind of get an idea, right, of what her sort of motif was. I also remember this character from uh, Umineko. Natsuhi. Uh, side character, but nonetheless. Also a mom, right? Um, and then, yeah. Yeah, Hajime Ippo, right? Um... She voiced somebody in Conan, uh, Detective Conan. But yes, of course, Jupiter, like I mentioned. And let me see. So, um, I think there was also a tweet from Platinum. I forgot to uh, add it in there, but yeah, Platinum Games essentially talking about um yes no no oh no 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 uh oh no that's a time like I'm sorry I'm just getting I'm I'm uh getting her mixed hmm. yeah sorry about that so Shinohara was a uh, mostly like like an anime mom uh voice actress for sure right and and then even of course voiced um you know Jupiter so. Um, but yeah, you know, passing away at six around sixty is uh, you know, you hate to see it, because that's still considered like kind of soon. Oh, she even voiced April, man. Sheesh, in the the Japanese Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So she had her own little footing, right, in that part of the the anime uh industry. So same, you know, same with uh, Earl Jones. Thank you for your hard work. He voiced, uh, you know, definitely an iconic character for sure. All right. Yep. Uh, any any words for Shinohara? Shinohara-san. It was more of the um, the the right. VA of um, Minato. For Naruto, so yeah. Minato is um Naruto's dad. Like the VA um, oh. sent like a very touching um uh what's it called? Oh, statement of letter. Sorts. A letter, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one was like really nice. 
think, excuse me. Let me see if I can find that. Mm -hmm. Oh, she even voiced uh, Tenchi's mom. That's funny. Man, like how many moms does she voice, man? That's that's really funny. I remember, I remember Tenyo. Although she came in a little late, but yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, does not change the fact that she voiced a lot of moms. <laughs> uh, did you find it yet or no? Oh, uh, here. Okay. Into the Castle of Hypes. There you go. All right. Thank you. Toshiyuki. Mori Morikawa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I believe that's, um, like, Sephiroth's voice actor, too. Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah, being able to... Oh, actually, could you, could you, could you, could you, uh, read it for us? Being able to play the role of a husband and wife in Naruto, and that and that memorable scene re remains my fondest memory to this day. Thank you so much for your hard work. I firmly believe that we'll meet again. Damn, man. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty brief but warming, uh, statement, right? Yeah, a little. Pretty, pretty damn too uh too soon too soon 2024 is fucked yeah i know i know man toriyama and all that stuff man like jesus oh, i think I, I, I don't like I, I don't like this timeline <laughs> yeah i think though we are kind of like at that point where a lot of the people we grew up with are starting to like, or not starting, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're passing, man. Whether it be um, cancer or just age. Though, um, yes, there, there have been like accidents and stuff that take them too soon. Um, Um, uh, hmm, interesting. There's someone in the chat talking about the PS5 already. We're, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Actually, funny enough, because that is the okay. next one on the thing. Uh... Why so... Why are we jumping first? I'm not sure, but anyway. He says, oh, Josh, uh, chat, someone in the chat named uh, King Joshua says, um... Hmm, that's a weird statement. Okay, I mean he's I, apparently he's, it sounds like he's going to buy the PS5, but we'll, we'll uh, bring that up right now. But um, not before uh, saying once again, thank you, um, Shinohara-san, for all your hard work as well. Okay, so now we can shift over the topic to um. To something that a lot of people have been talking about if you are some form of a playstation owner right or console owner really console players so in, in, of sorts or you know a fucking gamer anyway so recently it was unveiled that the ps5 pro is yes going to be a uh, a thing officially uh did you did you see the reveal first off um like the actual video of it yeah. no i saw okay. the, the stills and then the specs and mm -hmm. i just went like mm. what did yeah what did you make of that let me find my like, how long ago was this too like i i pretty much did like i i rather fucking Uh, 
pretty much uh, like it said it, it, it had a 67 percent larger gpu advanced ray tracing mm-hmm. ai driven upscaling and then some and the disk drive is separate a separate purchase what the mm-hmm. fuck is that mm-hmm. yeah. and, and the stand and the stand yeah it's like what the fuck yeah. so i put like if the console if the console had backwards some um, disk um capability you know to play ps4 and ps3 games then i'll consider buying one for that right. damn price but no with that price tag and a few extra hundred I, i'll just fucking build a new rig at this point mm-hmm. exactly i think that's really the issue um right now is that it's now in that boundary of you might as well get a pc because of how expensive it is because yeah it's seven hundred dollars starting. It's like you said, uh, not including the disc drive and not the stand. And then on top of that, you need probably um, an extra controller, right? If you're if, if you're starting off fresh with the PS Five, right? If yeah. you haven't got your PS Five already, and then it's like you gotta get the games, right? Which costs nowadays seventy bucks and up. DLC and stuff like that. So you're like pushing it to pretty much like the thousands. Pretty pretty much. Even at minimum, like... Oh yeah, and oh yeah, by the way, you, have to, you also have to get PlayStation Plus, right? If you want to play online. Oh, yeah. Right, so that's like one more thing on the list. So you're looking at upwards around like 900 at least, or a thousand. Okay, and then you got taxes on top of that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it includes a two terabyte SSD, so you're kind of set there, but you got no disc, right? So how are you going to play your um, other games, your other PS4 games and such, right? And you're already pre-existing PS5 games, assuming that you already have those games. Um... But yeah, I mean, sure, it has the bigger GPU, like you said. Um, ray tracing, advanced ray tracing, uh, uh, as if PS4 or P- the current PS5, PS5 didn't have it already. And then you have the AI driven upscaling, okay. But when you look at the um, the comparisons and whatever, it's like, bro, you're, it's not really justifying it. Because it's, it's such a little small leap for the graphics. Um, let me pull up the video for uh, that presentation. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. They show off like Ratchet and Clank and stuff, but let me see. Wait, what is the example? Hold on. Oh, okay. So it's, it's actually coming up, but like it's so funny because they already sh- they're, they're showing off a game that came out on the PS4, right? Which is Last of Us Two or Part Two, whatever. And then when you look at like um like fucking Spider Man, like oh okay the tree over there is sharper. Maybe the house is a little sharper. It's like um the stuff in the background is okay. It's a little sharper. Maybe oh yeah maybe fucking um Spider Man here is you know not blurry as much. When you let it play out, it's like it's so like minute that are you really gonna pay seven hundred plus dollars just for that? You know? Oh look, the fucking um tower has clearer glass. Oh, the tree could be 
possibly faster, I guess, but, <laughs> you know. Like, they even go out their way to make the comparison, right? Like, oh, look at here, right? Uh, oh, the sign looks clear. Oh, uh, the window looks clear, you know? There's more detail in these background stuff. Anyone, like, look at this, right? Is there any difference with this one, right? Do you see any difference at all? I know you're looking through the screen share, but no, but... Do you see a... It, it's, kind of, it's kind of like that, uh, the office meme. Mm -hmm. The company wants, to, wants you to um, figure out which are, you know, what's the difference between these two pictures. Mm-hmm. It's the same picture. Yeah, they're the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> it it pretty much is, right? Like, wow, maybe the crowd looks a little sharper in these moments. But look, we need, we and need... also the the thing is, like this the capture thing right now. Yeah. <sighs> wow, you know, like wow, it, it's it's nice and all, but what what average household will have also the the monitor you know set to reflect you know what what the output of your rig is going to be yes so that is also an issue right because the ps5 pro is supposed to be running at 120 hertz in other words 120 frames at max right but if you like you're mentioning the average household is less likely going to have a TV that runs at 120 hertz. That's like the the real expensive shit for right now, right? That's the that's the real like kicker in all this is the fact that you can't even like tap into the full potential of the PS5 Pro for most people. So who is this really unless for? Just, right. Unless you do have already the um computer monitor mm -hmm. to reflect it but yes again like shit <laughs> at this point again you you might as well make a rig exactly so now it's now now consoles are kind of like becoming pointless if this keeps up right it's it's like would, why would i other than exclusive of course right the exclusives at this point but then we are kind of like living in a time where those games are likely going to be on PC anyway. So in the end, it's like, what's really the point, you know? And, and it's also like mm -hmm. at, at this point in time, which I agree with this one person's post, they don't want to hear fucking people saying that, oh, computer rigs are, are, are expensive. That's why I stick to consoles. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like long term, no rigs are not that expensive. The initial build of a brand new rig from the ground up, yes, it is expensive, but yes, down the line, you're you're just gonna swap out like mm -hmm. one component every like I want to say if you future proof your rig correctly, you'll only switch out your your parts like maybe every five five to six years, depending on how much you use your your rig and you know what what overhaul you do which is funny because that's, that's kind of like the average console life right five to six years yeah mm -hmm. consoles if a component in there dies or yeah. you know fucking mm -hmm. breaks down too bad so sad gotta buy a brand new one or you send it in to sony wait for like three weeks max and then have it la -di da that's you know funny you bring it up like it like that because the customer service for sony is ho like horrible like um when it comes to trying to repair something um let alone a fucking controller right if you're still under warranty right because they haven't even still solved the stick drift issue which is strange. and i'm seeing the, the stick drift now in fortnite like if i leave it idle mm -hmm. and i'm on the map so here's the map yeah my stick you can see the cursor just going like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm like i'm not even fucking doing nothing that's the same for me with apex or one of my controllers <laughs> so in those like crucial moments it can be like costly in a way like i i it can make a difference you know 
But the point is, is that they, they haven't even like solved those issues. And yet they're putting a lot of money into this stuff, right? They're expecting for people to uh, buy into this shit. When you should like resolve some of the, you know, basic and annoying issues. I I'm, I'm like so baffled by that by this um whole thing with the con this this is this issue right now because especially what what's the PlayStation Six gonna look like right in terms of price like is it gonna is that going to be the the benchmark for pricing is it really going to be seven hundred bucks that's like man. And I, I um I I find it funny that a lot of people are um are coming up with a, the conspiracy that um because Concord cost them so much and you know you know how and, and they had to shut down the game they're trying to like make everything else expensive for people to buy to make up for the cost of Concord so. Conspiracy, yes, but it, it it's, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past them to do that. And yeah, especially here, like Gran Turismo. I think Gran Turismo could, def, def, I mean, obviously all games can benefit from it, but definitely Gran Turismo can um, benefit from this more, right? As someone who owns Gran Turismo 7. Or whatever. <laughs> right. Especially if you want like the maximum performance or whatever. Um th this is still not on PC, I don't think. So I th think P the PS5 Pro is gonna be for that very niche part of the market where they really want to like tap in like that that extra ten percent for such a such amount of money just so they can enjoy it enjoy one game like Gran Turismo at the most um I'm also surprised that they were showing off Harry Potter right the Harry Potter game in their presentation yeah yes it does look nice but are you really going to drop 700 plus dollars for that when most people are likely have already moved on from Harry Potter or like finished Harry Potter, you know what I mean? <laughs> what a weird timeline we live in right now for gaming, at least. And look at this, right? Um, the conversion rate is kind of something, <clears throat> I believe. Uh, who who made that post? I I forget. Um, like someone had the exact like conversion rate for um those prices or whatever. Yeah, because um, I believe. Uh... One of the other mods for Max, um, Max's um, uh, channel and stuff, uh, Brunty. Yes. Yeah, I believe he lives in Australia. Australia, right? yes. Yeah. He said, yeah, the PS5 Pro is an arm and a leg. And he was like looking at plane prices because, you know, that's another arm and a leg. Yes. He said for a cheaper, for, for a for a one week flight, I believe. No, he just said in general, a plane ticket if you went from Australia to Japan is cheaper than buying a PS5 Pro. In Australia, and then I was like, okay. Oh my god. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, just to throw it out. I said, like, okay, well, how much? How much is your uh, plane ticket if you were gonna fly to Hawaii? And he was like, cheaper than going to Japan. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> he was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> Man. But if the Japan flight is still cheaper than getting, uh, trying to get a PlayStation 5 and Pro in 
um australia man that's that's fucked up um i'm trying to find that screenshot or whatever i forget where it was but anyway it's too yeah. fucking expensive for what it is and even if you are starting off like fresh or whatever if you if you are still you know a ps5 virgin or if you want to call yourself oh man like you're still better off with just a regular ps5 honestly yeah you, you you're better off buying the ps5 the base ps5 mm -hmm. and just buying your own fucking um uh ssd drive for right. extra storage that's what, I, that's what i did right or you know save the rest of that money for you know like i don't know for something else really in my situation, if I'm going to spend that much money, then I might as well, or I'm, I'm going to rather want to spend that money for the new iPhone or whatever, because that's around that same price. If I, well, if I, if I were to go for the upgrade and such with my, uh, with AT&T AT and whatever, but yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's too much. It is too fucking much. And the thing that another kicker, right, is that not all games are going to be affected by the PS5 Pro. It's just the, the selected few. So are you really going to spend 700 plus dollars for the selected few? It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, a couple of games can benefit more from it. Like Grand, Tur Grand Turismo 7, like I said. Final Fantasy Rebirth, yeah, I think that game does need help, right? In in some the, some of those moments, but even then, I can I I I was still can tolerate it. I think you can still get through the game just fine, right? Again, man, seven hundred plus dollars just to make Final Fantasy Seven just a um just enough uh performance just to be able to run at uh what is it 60 frames with the uh we call quality mode on or whatever yeah yeah and then if, and there is of course dragon's dogma 2 but that's on pc so don't even you're right don't even bother yeah. uh is rebirth out on pc i don't think so not yet okay oh. yeah let's check let's let's check, let's check. No, it's not on PC. Okay. So uh, I am the PC. <laughs> you're politically politic politically correct. <laughs> anyway, um Yeah. So okay, so Rebirth is on PlayStation, so okay, that'll benefit from it. Demon Souls, yes. Assassin's Creed Shadows, I guess. That game's not even out yet, but okay. Um Uh, I'm just, I'm just sorry. I'm just like reading other stuff too, just make sure. But and then yeah, you know, I mean, the look of the console is whatever, right? That's like the the least of the issues, right? Yeah. You know, it's just it's just got little slits or gill, not not gills, but like the um, what do you call those vent vent looking things, right? That's about it. Yeah, by the way, yeah, the, the vertical stand sold, sold separately. I think that's like, what, another 30 bucks? You know? Personally, I like my con console standing, so, you know, it's like, ugh, fuck. That's like extra money there being thrown away. But yeah, the fact that the, the it does not have a disc version is, that's like, also... A big kicker as well. Big kick in the balls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, but you know what? You can. Oh no, never mind. It's Astro's Playroom. It's not the the new Astro game, which a lot of people are loving right now. By the way, but um, that's that's nothing. The Playroom is nothing. That's, you know, that's a nothing burger. Um. Like, okay, 
if it was like seven hundred dollars with the disc drive and not like in like a free game or something like a bundle mm -hmm. and it had backwards compatibility and such like like you know like people have been asking for then i can kind of like bat an eye but the fact that this is such a basic thing like a like just 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 a console no disc drive seven hundred dollars good lord what were they thinking you know And it's like, yeah, no wonder people in Japan are fucking furious with this shit, too. The gamers in Japan are, are fucking pissed that it costs that much in Japan. So, if that's a, if it's like a worldwide thing of people being pissed off, then I would hope that PlayStation will consider um, adjusting the price for sure. What? Well, only time can tell. Well, we'll see. Um, I have no idea otherwise. All right. Um, in the other side of consoles, right? We have, well, Xbox stuff. Microsoft, more specifically. Uh, they have been laying off uh, 650 employees from his gaming division. As of... Um, September 12th. You think that it, things wouldn't get worse for <laughs> um, Microsoft, but yeah, no, it's... No, no, they, 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 they find a way. They find a way, yeah. I mean, do, do, do you feel that Phil Spencer is cooked at this point? Do you think he's going to get the boot soon? Or in a foreseeable future? I kind of hope soon because the investors, you know, because that's what makes the money go around is the investors. Yes. So they, they, they better be turning heads right now. Yeah. And going like, hey, what, what the hell are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just don't know what to make of it, man. After what has been happening with Microsoft. Like, we almost lost fucking Tango, man. Even though the Tango was, like, doing good. Uh, well, at least with their last game, with the, which was Hi-Fi Rush. Then you have this. It's like, fuck, man. I wonder if this was this if this was another incident where the workers found out through the tweet and not through um a preemptive like email of sorts. It's just like on September twelfth. Oh, by the way, you got laid off. You know. Uh, let me see. Um, as part of aligning our post acquisition team structure and managing our business, we made the decision to eliminate approximately 650 roles across Microsoft gaming, mostly corporate and supporting functions to organize our business for long term success. A uh, quote from Spencer. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't know what to make of it, man. They've been already like laying off that many. Yeah, they've already laid off almost two thousand people. Right, that's and it's fucked. Mm hmm. And then you had Aust Arcane Austin shut down, right? And now you're gonna add six six fifty more. 650 uh, more people being laid off, man. God damn. I do wonder, though, if it's like duplicate roles. So that's why they had to let go. So those people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we already have we already have this person. So, you know, you get let go or whatever. But I, I think even still, that's like fucked up.
I think that is pretty fucked. You know, that's why these acquisitions, man, it's like... Ugh. They're bit, they, they, it really feels like they're buying, they're bit off, they bit off more they can chew. You know. But hey, what do I know, right? Alright. So, before we go, go on, uh, mm -hmm. I gotta go make a run to the bathroom. So, um... Be in a cup, sir. <laughs> God. Come on. Old Call, Call of Duty days. I, oh, I mean, I have this can right here, so uh, would that work? No. Yeah, see? <laughs> Just mute the mic. Oh, my God. No, I will... Uh, de deploy a bathroom break. So, <laughs> we... We'll be right back. All right. Uh, hold on, let me hit the be back soon button, and then, uh, all right. Okay. Oh, uh, I'll take us back. Okay, we're back. Um, officially, let me just go ahead and make sure we're nothing is muted. Okay. Um, all right, we're back. Sorry about that little break, but uh, yeah, we're back, and mm -hmm. we got still some stuff to talk about. So let's go ahead and uh, jam on through with the game's news. Alright. <laughs> this is a brief one. It's the Game Awards. Woo! It's the Jeff Keighley show, pretty much. <laughs> it's the... It's, it's the Jeff... <laughs> the Jeff and the Teleprompter show. Mm -hmm. and, and Muppets, for some reason. But yeah, because he really likes Muppets. Anyway, so... It is coming back for uh, on December 12th. So yippee doo dah, I guess. Um, I, I'm I, I'm I've been kind of reading the comments and uh, yeah, you know people say, oh yeah, Black Myth Wukong is a contender, uh, Space Marine Two, Astro, um, Dragon's Dogma Two, I guess. The cringe awards, yeah. I mean, went past that. One says nobody cares. Oh yeah, the, please wrap it up. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, I think we get the point. So, you know, we got the date. Yes, Jeff Keighley, blah, blah blah. You know, but hey, I mean, it's also a place for some announcements. So, yeah, there is something to look forward to for sure. Um, oh, yeah, Final Fantasy. Let's not forget, of course. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, I forgot this game came out this year, too. Stellar Blade. I actually kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, and someone, someone, and someone put, the, um, put the gif of the Bill Clinton kid. For sure. I do wonder though if someone is going to try to um to uh, what do you call it? make be a, a scene make a scene yeah be a heckler or what do you call those people like officially wait is there a game Wonder Woman what that a Wonder Woman game from Monolith supposed to be supposed to be okay huh I'm just still waiting for the Wolverine game. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, that I know, yeah, I, I do remember for sure. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Oh my God, that game was a tr fucking travesty. Unfortunately, the game was a travesty. The show, on the other hand, was yes. Good. That yeah, you know, it's a it's a meme pool. You know, it did it did uh, spawn a show, so there was something from that. But the game itself was a fucking travesty for sure. Yes, that would blade. Uh, 
I forget. Did Mortal Kombat 1 come out this year? Or was that last year? Last year, okay. So, yeah. September. Okay. Almost, uh, almost a year, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, please wrap it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, game announcements. Announcement. Um, Sparking Zero. Yeah, people are anticipating some sort of like Sparking Zero like announcement or something. Wait, wait, actually, when, when is Sparking Zero coming out? Is it uh, eligible for that? Let me see. Oh, October 20, no, October 10. Okay, so it's actually kind of, kind of soon. Okay, okay. So it has potential to be in the uh, Game Awards. <laughs> yeah, Sephiroth. Um, anyway, so. There will be, there will be a time, that's for sure. For sure. With good old Jeff Keighley, everybody's favorite guy, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Um, meanwhile, um, in Fate, well, is it Fate Stay Night or is it? Uh... Anyway. The Typhoon's Fate Stay Night. Mm. If they're in the title. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I I'm just trying to make sure. Um, Face Day Night is having a collab with uh, Sandio's Hello Kitty and Friends. So I'm not sure. Okay, it's just it's just merchandise. Okay, okay, okay. So new merchandise yeah. featuring like a pairing. Like okay, for example, we have a uh, Saber and uh, Hello Kitty, or just Kitty, I guess. Um, and then I believe you provided some, uh, the images, right? <gasps> what happened? What happened? Uh oh. What happened, man? Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. Uh, let me see. I'm just gonna just go ahead and drop it right here. There we go. So. You got the pairing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like like keychains or like shirts or something. It just says merchandise, so it could be anything, like a standee or something. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be pin badges, acrylic cards, chain keychains, acrylic stand stand plates. Yes. So kind of correct on that. Smartphone stickers, glasses, and even candy. Uh, all of them feature kawaii uh, team-ups between Sanyo stars and the characters of Fate Grand Order mobile game. Okay, so it is uh, Grand Order. It's not not just Say Night. Okay. Um, let me see. So we got <laughs> this Gilgamesh. I, I don't know the, all of the Sanrio characters. <laughs> yeah. Right. I remember the dog. I'm just, yeah. I just wish Mats Matsumaru was paired with somebody else instead of um Oh yeah. Okay. I see. Probably Bats should have been paired with with Ku Alter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm Instead of Moriarty. Yeah. Good old Morty. Um Oh, there's Merlin, and I don't know what that is supposed to be. I I know I know of it, but I don't I know the think name. That's, I think that's cinnamon something. Okay, okay. Cinnamon or something. Yeah. Um, I know the devil-looking one is like popular, but it's paired with Arjuna for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. It should have been like I don't know. It could have been Saber Altar for all I care. But all right, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, it is cute. I wish they did yeah. a little more with it. Man, you know, maybe maybe some uh you know, uh what what do you call what do you call um 
Oh my god, I'm forgetting the cards already. Um, CEs, there you go. Craft craft Essence. Mm. Could, have, could have done something with that. Um, I wish they did like t-shirts. That would have been cool. Or something. But you know, the acrylic stuff is cool. Um, if I was in that part of the market. Or into that market, excuse me. Um... Yeah, I mean, any uh, any comments? Are you gonna buy it? Or will it? Would it be purchasable? Available? Yeah. You know, outside of you know Japan? Probably not. This seems to be like a Japan exclusive thing, unless you know how to search on Zen Market, because <laughs> Zen Market is kind of like the middleman between like US and Japan. If you know how to like look for stuff there, then you may be able to snatch one at a decent rate. But I, I other than that I don't know. I have no idea. Zen market. Godzilla body pillow. Bingo. Mm. <laughs> you you've heard of you've heard of a Zen market, right? I heard of it. I never dived into it okay yeah because the only time i i went i actually used zen market completely was um to buy the uh you know the artistic hand thing that i showed you with the the yeah reference stuff thing yeah that's the only time i ever used it but yeah i mean it's it was pretty simple if you really want to use it for something else or the song real stuff i don't know it's a little... <laughs> all right so on the topic of uh gotcha mobile games and such there was the um live stream for zzz uh showcasing the new version coming up and the new part of the city if you will new part of the map uh 1.2 this was going to be called tour de inferno Right. Oh, yeah, let me just. Yeah, there we go. Um, third, uh, so it's introducing new care, new agents, new agents, and, new story, obviously. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this trailer doesn't um, show the uh, quality of life that's coming in. Yes. Yeah. Just look okay. Thank God. You're pulling for Caesar, right? Yes. He's a king. I'm saving up for Caesar. Yep. There's my girl. I might throw. I might throw money. I just, just test the luck. Yeah. Jesus. Well. Well, the cop. The what do you call it, the uh, copium thing? Way to say it is you're building <laughs> pity. You're just building pity, right? For the next character. No, I. I no, Diddy, please. <laughs> God damn it. And then there's uh, Bernice. Uh, I think I'm more, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm more interested in Bernice though. Mm -hmm. I, I've I've heard split opinions. She does look really cool though. To be fair, with the flamethrower. So my question is, are we gonna get? Is it gonna be this one or the next update? We're gonna get like unique um animations mm -hmm. you know like how um mm -hmm. uh coletta and then they have their unique um animation I when have... they're doing attacks yeah i have no idea yeah I, I i feel like they should definitely address that and make it clear like okay we're gonna do this or that when it comes to the unique yeah, attack again like you, know? you can do so much with uh for example i think we we already talked set our piece with yes. um victoria, victoria you know mm -hmm. Housekeeping, like all of them, mostly use ice, so fucking play it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I wonder the other Discord is like, is all <laughs> smash or pass this thing. I was like, yes. I was like, what? <laughs> there are a bunch. Of, there are a bunch of like new characters in here in this one trailer. Yeah, including like yeah, the orangutan guy. Like, yeah, the orangutan. From what I know, he's a rival um, bike gang to yeah. uh, um, King yeah. uh, Caesar Kings. Uh, yeah, Cal yeah, sons of Caliban. Yeah, right who's there. um participating in this um Terra de Ferno. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, like, someone also showed, because I, I don't think he's shown in this um, trailer, uh, Big Daddy or Big Papa. The, oh, Big um, Daddy? The... Uh, Big Daddy, actually, yeah. I think he appeared... Like, little... it was brief. It was very It was, brief. like, like brief. Like, you very blink brief. and he's, like, gone. Yeah. Yeah, he's very brief. Oh, yeah, so they tell you... And then a lot of people, someone's like, is this official artwork? This looks like, you know, AI fake. And I was like, oh. Mm. You kind of don't want to step on those yeah. mounds. Oh, God, they're both S rank. Yes, that's the thing, right? I thought she would be full, like a, 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 a rank, but... An A, right? No, they're both like, S. So yeah, good luck. You think, yeah. King, um, you think Caesar is the S and then she was the A, but mm -hmm. no... So hopefully their banners are are separate, you know. So you well, don't I mean, fucking. Oh well, yeah, they will be break. separate. It's just like good luck trying to save up for both. That's either way, because they're gonna be back to back, I think. And then yes, those are the A ranks, of course. I don't um, know what you're talking about, Hawk. <laughs> <Brady. laughs> <You're right. laughs> God damn it! We'll and then swipe. yes. And then yes, these are the W engines for um the respective characters like you know Caesar and Bernice, right? It says it right there. Um, so yeah, good luck. That's all I can say. I do like the the Bangu. Yeah, Bang. Yeah, Bangu. Yeah, it is pretty cute. It 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 rides the uh, we call those like those big wheel motorcycle things. It's like, yeah. yeah. You kind of you can kind of see it in and like it, Star Wars or something, but yeah. And it runs over people. I was like, oh, that's yes. Cute. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, see, like, it, it, it's right there. It's cute. Yes. Yes. I like that. God damn. I mean, just seeing that the monster just, like, go away. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's like, just like a fly. Like, it's just like a fly. It's like, ugh, get off of me. Um, I believe this is a you? yeah. I believe this is a ten free pulls. So that's cool. So that's good. Well, see, it's ten free pulls, but is it that stupid? You know, you gotta wait a you gotta wait a week to, mm -hmm. to get to, all 10. to get all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't like that. Definitely. And then yeah, new new stuff. Uh, for the um, Hollow Zero stuff. Uh, we can we can actually uh jump on over to the English side of things just so we can read it. Um though yes we get the picture. Um let me see. Yes. There we go. Jump to here. Uh, oh yeah, so right here. Yeah, three ten free pulls for the Bang Bangmu stuff. Uh new update to the um the Withering Garden stuff so you can like essentially uh pick like your difficulty stuff for extra points. New mini games and then the new training course thing which i'm not sure how that works but i guess it essentially helps you like learn each of the characters i guess and you actually do get some stuff out of it too so that's kind of neat um yeah training course uh i think this is just an event 
like a mini event for you to earn um more stuff and then a free copy of um Lucy in conjunction of you know 1.2 and then I think this is a web no 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 this is a new uh limited mini game I think and then new and then a new mini game I guess for when it uh, comes to uh the TV mode stuff right and then uh another mini game thing friendship fair uh phantom stuff phantom hunt yeah it's a new game mode right more 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 combat content means more uh stuff for you to earn including um polychromes and then this stuff too the uh, studio defense stuff which will allow you to uh, ho uh hopefully soon enough have your own pr preset teams so that way you don't have to like pick your fucking characters every time because that was yeah kind of bothersome um oh yeah double the materials and stuff that you earn from combat simulation so that's cool uh same with um the routine cleanup which means you can earn more drive discs and then you have new drive discs uh speaking of which which is one called uh, proto punk which allows you to have more shield effect by 15 percent for the two piece four pieces and when any squad member triggers a defensive or evasive um assist all squad squad members deal 15 plus increased damage lasting 10 seconds so it's not too bad um that's like if you really like to um switch your characters and such chaos jazz uh another no uh an animality proficiency set which uh two piece will give you uh, 30 plus points for that but four piece set this is specifically for more electric and fire damage increased by 15 percent when off field damage dealt by ex special attacks and assist attacks is increased by 20 percent when the character switches back onto the field this buff, buff continues for five seconds the lasting effect can be triggered once every seven seconds or seven and a half seconds so i believe this is trying to cater more towards um bernice and such such characters as bernice because of course she is an, an anomaly character herself right with fire and then um you could use this for grace because she also is anomaly with electric you know but i think this is more specifically more built more towards um bernice for sure same with the protopunk i think this could be working for um Caesar, because she is going to be playing off of the whole defensive stuff. But um, there were plenty of other what do you call um quality of life stuff that was not mentioned in that video. So hold on, um, let me see. Uh, I think there's a. Let me see. Oops. Oh, I wanted to show this video too. Is 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 like something came out of nowhere from ZZZ, and it's official too. So hold on. Hmm. The more I look at you, the more beautiful your curves are, and the sheer power you contain. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grace, man. God damn it. <laughs> Hold still and bite <laughs> and bite the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grace, man. She 
she about to screw screw him literally and uh, figuratively. <laughs> He's gonna loosen him up. That's what's going yeah, on. pretty much. Yeah, they're like yeah, people are like holy moly. <laughs> um, should have been me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I see most. Yeah, this <laughs> game. It should have been me, not him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> do you do you like the pairing between Grace and um Billy? Do you, do, you, do you like that ship or I mean in my canon hip, I think Grace is just that, you know, that big sister trope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She just being like, you know, that that little saucy, but she she knows how to you know just not go any further. Yes. But yes. For Billy, I I I don't I think he he has someone else in mind. Hmm. Is it is it the Starlight Night? <laughs> Either Starlight Night or. If you kind of pay attention to some of Billy's uh, budget, the I, I call them dates. You know those dates. Yes. The oh yeah 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 the yeah. dates yeah. Yeah he he kind of doesn't really want to have a relationship right now. He just wants to be a dude. And yeah. Just, you know watch watch stuff. Yeah, it's Starlight Night. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said Starlight Night. <laughs> Pretty much. And then. But then there, there's like fucking Lycon and some of those uh, interactions are like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. um. I mean, I don't know how how it is with the, um, because I, I play as wise, so I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, we we we're, okay. <laughs> see, because there was like one one line, um, Lycon was like, <laughs> like you're more than a friend, you're a very, you know, like close something and i was like oh, oh okay. i was like oh we fucking <laughs> we fucking <laughs> we fucking on the, under course. the moonlight i of, like it <laughs> of course of course and then you have jane and i'm like jane is just like oh, jane is just like she doesn't care she's just so unhinged like did you see that fucking uh that trailer or whatever of the animation of where she was like in the cop car and then there was like the the junior officer driving. Yeah, she was just full on. She was just like full on, like hitting on her, like mm -hmm. legit. Hit. Yeah. And the, and the poor officer's like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, um, like I don't know. After the little transition, her glasses are like fucked up, and like she's like, <gasps> <laughs> like, like what did she do? Like holy shit. <laughs> what well, they did was have a have a brief moment of, <laughs> of the Honda Odyssey. Yeah, <laughs> the Honda Odyssey. <sighs> like, why? Why that car? Like, what? Uh, it's, it's. I mean, yeah, it is funny, but it's like, why that car? I know why specifically Honda Odyssey. Like, right. I don't know. Yeah, but now I kind of again, like as my friend was asking, is like, I wonder how much people bought Honda Odyssey and what was the mm -hmm. like the rise in purchases after mm -hmm. this movie? I was like, yeah. Say, like, do you really want to know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so random. Hear me out. That's really random. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> move out of the way, Billy. It's my turn. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Yeah. Grace is kind of pushing the the. The limit. The limit, yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Um, oh, yes, fuck. Um, I was trying to look for the fucking, like, overview or whatever. I thought they'd do it, but... Let me see. Uh, is that it? No, that's just the characters. Oh, yeah, Lighter, like, kind of briefly appeared in the trailer, too. And I believe he's slated to be of a, a, a rank, I think. That could be wrong. I don't know. I have no idea. Otherwise, um, it's like yeah, he briefly showed up, but then it's like, what do we do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't really see it. Hold on. Um, let's go to game eight oh. then, because I believe they do some sort of uh, overview news. Um. Okay, let me see. All right. Oh, apparently the banner will consist of uh, what's the name? Oh, yeah, Piper and Anton. With the A ranks, and then of course Caesar. When it comes to Bernice's banner, it will be Lucy and Nicole. Okay. Um, W Engine, Bang Boo, we already went over that. Story stuff. Yes. Okay. This is kind of one of them. Blitz mode in Withering Garden, meaning. Also, will have a blitz mode where players no longer need to go through the monitor array, monitor array to get buffs. So, in other words, you're going to be skipping the TV mode stuff for that mode anyway. So, that's really cool. I like that. Thank God. Um, we're going to have a new boss, I guess, and new or expert challenges. Oh, God, that's uh, that's Jane. <laughs> Looking kind of unhinged there. <laughs> uh, let me see. Optimi optimizations. Here we go. Fairy assist. New feature in 1.2 that lets you receive uncollectible rewards from completed story commissions and exploration commissions after a set period of time. Yeah, in case you like missed out on like that one part of the monitor array, then you know you're not so much fucked. Um, during the story mode. Increased playback speed and monitor array. Okay. Reset lineup feature. That's pretty much the, the pre-built, the pre-set teams, right? They can make for yourself and not having to pick the fucking characters every time and then mi mi uh, possibly mispick your bang boo, which happens to me quite a bit. But now you have the presets, so you don't make that mistake, at least for studio defense anyway. Agent training will have some adjustments, right? The ability to change the in-game time. Thank fucking God. You can freely change the time as needed after reaching a certain internet level. Uh, optimize brightness. <laughs> In our lock. In the lock level 50. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why? Why would that? Yeah, right. Um... Playable agents and hub areas. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can actually, like, pick to walk around as your agents, right? Rather than just Wise or Bell. But even then, you can actually pick between Wise and Bell. Like, you don't even, it doesn't, like, really matter, like, if you're, you know, a male, if you pick male or female, because you're going to be either, either one. And when, you, when you're walking around, that is. The story mode, yes, that will matter because that will determine like if your character is male or female, right? Or wise or bell. Or if you're just walking around, not so much. So that's pretty cool. It would be so funny, like let's say um you're running around as um Grace, right? Mm-hmm. And you do the um the agent um dates. Mm -hmm. And you pick Grace. Are you just <laughs> going to see two Graces on screen? That's the thing, like, right? there was they, they, mm -hmm. they, they forgot to, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. hot fix that. And you just see two Graces talking to each mm -hmm. other. That would be pretty funny. And it's like, I would be like, um, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They might be screwing each other up. Right. <laughs> you never know, right? Um, yeah, this is for later versions, so we don't know when exactly. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, this is for later versions. Whereas 1.2, all this stuff will be coming in, like including the time, the uh, ferry assist, I guess, moderate, faster speed, uh, training adjustments, and stuff like that. Whereas this, right, later versions will also get uh, improvements in models of agents. So I guess they're trying to tinker some faces or whatever. I'm not sure exactly. Um, improvements on combat UI. Oh god, I hope so. Um, it's kind of hard for me still to like keep up with Grace's grenades or whatever the grenade charge at times. So, um, uh, is there anything else that the we're forgetting or anything anything like that. I, I think these are all, all the major quality of life stuff for right now. At least. Can we have a um, better system of getting stamina, please? No? Okay. Better what? Oh, st oh, 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 oh. That's actually important because... um, Actually, that's weird. They did not mention it here. They did mention in the live stream that the... um. What do you call it? for the, the stamina, battery? The battery will have an overcharge system. So that means um, even if you go over the limit, it'll still keep building up the um, ex excess battery. Uh, I guess you could say numbers or currency. So what that means is you don't have to, you don't have to like get on ZCC just to like you know optimize your um your batteries. You can literally just mm -hmm. like. You can leave it and then it'll like build up the excess batteries over time. That way you don't feel as bad, like not logging on often. Genshin has still has that issue at the, uh, as of this moment still. And that game is almost out for like, what, four years? So, um, and DZD is already getting that feature along with Star Rail. Star Rail started that feature even though mm. that was what was asked for Genshin. But now ZZ is getting it. It's like, oh, well, that's a, that's still one thing that the Genshin could never do, I guess, for some reason. So actually very, very good um, reminder to remember because that is actually really good if you're a, a Hoyo uh, player. See, it says backup battery charge. That's the, there's the feature right there. Yeah, even in the closed caption, it says, even if you can't log in, you still can keep building up battery charge. So let's say, like, yeah, you, like you're too busy or something with whatever. You don't have to feel as bad anymore if you're a, an avid ZZZ player or Star Rail. But for Genshin, I'm sorry. That's still not a feature, I guess, for whatever reason. Yeah. Even though they should do it, but yeah. So, very good. Very good thing. Then, yes, yeah, there's the preset stuff right there. Preset teams. Yes, you can pick the agents and between Wise and Bell. No matter what gender you pick. And then, yeah, and then um, for some reason, the live stream ended with a concert performance thing. Not sure why exactly, but they could, I guess. Um, Yeah, there's more combat stuff, more ways for you to earn um, polychromes and all that fun stuff. And yeah. That is pretty nice. Um, but let's go back a little bit on some of the characters, right? They only uh, appeared very briefly. Like, including, like, the old man and, like, all the rival gang members and, like, all that stuff. There's Bernice, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, there's Caesar. I mean, not like Caesar, excuse me. Uh, there's um, Lighter, right? <laughs> Randomly appearing right there. There's the old dude. 
I hope he's playable. He'll be pretty cool. Um, let me see. There's that one guy with the mask, right there. And he's got and he's got a lever action rifle. Oh my god, I want him. I want him playable. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's like an axe. I want to play as the the little girl right there. Oh yeah, right, the girl too. What, yeah, what she looks do? cool. Yeah. What do you do? Right. Yeah, he even like does the uh, little spinny load thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he has a lever action rifle. That's pretty sick. I hope. Yeah, I hope she's playable too. She looks pretty cool too. Um. And then Reagan Tang guy, see if he's playable someday or not. There was like I think other people behind him. No, it's just a uh, little little cronies. It's Maurice the Orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think there were screenshots of like the new characters that all were shown. Let me see. Zen. Uh, zero world zero. Oh. There's a new liking animation. Hold up. I smell something filthy. I'm at your disposal. Huh. <laughs> Damn, man. You got you got the eye. <laughs> uh. He says he's at his he, he's at my disposal, so I want to do stuff. <laughs> Be right back. We're disposing something. Oh, man. Um. Oh. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Grace about to fulfill her bad fantasy, yeah. Oh, I wish I could dismantle that finely crafted body and admire the components inside. <laughs> oh, Grace. God damn why, it. why does it feel like it's it's that um it's that uh fucking meme with a uh, plankton but this time it's like grace grace mm. no grace yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh yeah i like piper too like it's we it's weird to see piper and lucy's uh actually animated because you never seen them like other than just moving or standing still. So now that you get to see them move around, it's actually kind of like weird. And Piper is very um animated. <laughs> In her own way, I guess. God damn it, Bernice is I wish I I wish I can pull for everyone, but yeah. Oh yeah, her. Holy shit. She looks cool, yeah. She Apparently, she's the mayor of Blazewood and runs a food restaurant in the Outer Ring. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Lighter. Oh, there you are. There's all the characters so far in the trailer. Like, I, I didn't even, I barely seen this character, too. Like, the leopard chick looking, the leopard looking chick or whatever. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I hope the one that had the gun that you're interested. Mm -hmm. I hope it talks like this. You always make this mouse just check me. It makes my voice out of the I was raised in a dog. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is on the right. Like, I, mm. it's probably another proxy. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Or, um, hacker. Yeah, hacker. Yeah, here you go. The like old... it's this this group. So hacker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this old dude is uh looking sick too. I like I like this design. But uh, yeah, it looks like the like... watch the, the the old dude has. It's like wow. 
It's like, um, it's like, wow, this dude looks so awesome. I wonder how his voice sounds like, and it's kind of like high pitched, like Pika. Oh, like Pika? Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what Zoro said. <laughs> Yeah, but I think the uh, the chick right here also has a gu like guns, like um, the wolf dude, or whatever. She has like revol. It looks like a, uh, like revolvers. I wonder if she's playable. Also, I think I think she is. She has to be right with that kind of design. Like Jesus, how do you not have a playable character like that? Same with the wolf guy. We'll see if the orangutan is playable, but I wonder how many people would actually pull for him, especially from like China or something. I don't know. I don't know if they're uh, interested. He's not hot. He's not hot. So yeah, not. hot. Not hot enough. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty much make a pull. Yeah. Smash or pass. Smash or pass. Yeah. Um. Vanquishers. Are they all the same faction? I guess. It looks like it's yeah, all so, so, okay. Yeah. So this is one. This is the, uh, the other um, like the, gang. That's yeah, they, yeah, the um, rival gang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah participating mm -hmm. in Tour de France. Okay. okay. <laughs> Tour de France. Yeah. Tour de France. Yeah, Tour de France. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it obvious right here. Like, yeah, they're all in the same. The, these guys are in the same gang. Right. But yeah, I guess the the chick and the orangutan are all in the. Oh, his name is Pompey. Okay, that's interesting. Um. Oh, this is only shown in the the Chinese version. That's really weird. I'm like, I don't remember seeing the screenshot. Okay, maybe, or I don't. Maybe it might be might have been really brief in the U.S. version. But anyway, looks interesting. I hope he's playable. Yeah, more lighter. Oh, yeah, this part. Caesar. Yep. And then. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is artwork of Jane. Like, Jesus. Christ. Gotta play that gif. Smack that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. He has his own little, like, chibi artwork thing. You know, maybe he is going to be playable. I don't know. Smash. Yeah. Pompey. Oh. Poultra? Is that her name? Okay. Poultra Moors. Because you're saying Bellum. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting names for the uh, the animals, and even, even even the old dude Pompey. Okay, I'm learning quite a bit today. Yeah, she got she got revolvers. Oh, but and she has a some sort of weird sword looking thing. What? Wait, is this out without the mask? What the fuck? God damn, man, shit. ZZ's he's like going in on all the fucking um character Tires. designs. Yeah, yeah, styles and probes and shit. Jesus, man. They're really tapping into all the markets. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Wait, was this? Was it in the trailer? Oh, I think, it, I don't know. What the hell? Okay. I'm trying to like stare at her weapon. Oh, look at her revolver. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. Like the, the handle has like a extra little thing. Like blades and stuff. That's really neat. Huh. 
I wonder if she'll play kind of similarly like um Billy, or she's gonna be more like um like up in your face, up close, and personal kind of character or shooter. <laughs> Fucking Piper, man. Uh. Oh yeah, and for some reason Lucy wants a always wants a piece of uh Caesar. Swings the bat at the shield like Jesus. Alright. So that is essentially it. Um on that. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's the overview right there. Battery sword system. Control characters, open world, lot, uh, loss of reward system, time change, save your teams, Hollow Zero without TVs, yes. New characters, m new map area, the motorcycles racing system, yes. Which I, I was like, what the fuck? They actually made a racing game portion. Um, Lucy free through. Oh yeah, the the version's main event. Yeah, you get a free copy of Lucy, so that's cool. New stores, new NPCs, new or yeah, other new stuff, etc. So cool. Pretty nice. All right, let's try to power on through for the rest of it. Um. Star Rail is getting a physical copy, strangely, even though it's a fucking gotcha game. So, this is what the cover looks like, though, unfortunately, for the most part. Because remember, there was like that, um, not, it wasn't an art contest, but it was like, um, that post or whatever by, um, Star Rail. And they were like, <laughs> talking, something. Something about like cover art or something, and then uh, hungry mm -hmm. and then hungry clicker was like, "All right, <laughs> you know, like watch this." Essentially, <laughs> it just drops like, um, probably the best art for it, and we talked about that. And someone was like, essentially, like um, like Michael Jordan joining in on on the game uh, on like a game basketball game full of kids or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Star Rail cover. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was some sort of like hashtag or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was coming from um, Star Rail right here. We talked about it. It says design your own. Star Rail box art and share your masterpiece with the hashtag um, Star Rail box art. This is Hungry Clickers. <laughs> like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> hungry Clicker was pretty much bent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just like, hit hold that my... fucking button super, super hard. And it's like, eh. hold my beer, Hungry Clicker said. <laughs> I wish this was real. Yep. Cooked. Yep. Tans, yup. Uh, what was it? Who, what was that comment? But anyway, it says, if I see Hungry Cooker participating in any kind of competition, I'm out, dog. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody said it. It was really funny. It might, it might have been like a uh, quote tweet or something. Um, <laughs> the, bro, you just murder artist's dream to win this, uh, win in this challenge, not murder, but burn bridges, hopes, and dreams of others. <laughs> and it's funny because it's not even an art contest; it was just like a um, like a challenge. Yeah, it's just a yep. style challenge. It's not even a contest. You don't win anything. And yeah, hungry clear. So just, Hungry Clicker is um is doing what Justin Wong is doing in MC 
NBC, NBC one <laughs> right now. Pretty much. Like he, but you get I I I I it's like uh, guys, you know that the NPC is like Justin Wong's playground. You know what you kind of signed up for. Yeah, it's like Michael Jordan with basketball. Like, like that's essentially what it is. Yeah, Welcome to the court. Know, like, yeah. Welcome to the real world. You can learn today. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. That's how it goes, man. Uh, damn it, man. Fuck. How do you, uh, look at the full tweets? Let me see. Elon, please. Oh, there we go. We have quotes. God damn it. <laughs> Black Knight from Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. He's basically he's basically like um like Lu Bu and Dino, Dino, uh, Dynasty Warriors. I see. Mm-hmm. Do not pursue him. It's like too late. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yes, yes. Is this shit? <laughs> Look at the kids. <laughs> Look at the kids. <laughs> Oh my god. That is pretty much what was happening. Call me a Shaq. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? <laughs> <laughs> what is it fuck me for? <laughs> Yep, there's, there's um MJ. There's MJ. Exactly. Boom! <laughs> Just dunking on them fools. <laughs> God damn, man. France and Gibraltar. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Black Knight again. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Um. Anyway, yes. Point being, there is an actual physical copy now, but it's not the art. Unfortunately, it should have been, but it's not. It's just kind of like plain Jane. It's got the two, um, MCs, male and female, um. Uh, Kylas and Stella. So unfortunate, understandable, but unfortunate that it's not Hungry Clickers art. It should have been, like I said. And then, um, meanwhile, so in midst of, you know, announcing there was. Um, a collaboration between Star Rail and um, Fate State, oh no, uh, Fate State Night Unlimited Blade Works, uh, specifically, that's still uh, being awaited for next year. Star Rail is in another collaboration with its own brethren, or maybe sibling, I guess, in this case, uh, Honkai Impact, or uh, Honkai Impact Third. So, what the hell is that supposed to mean, right? Because this is supposed supposedly, this is like um, not in the same universe, but like think of it like um, uh, the same tree with different branches, right? Um, so in a sense, it is connected, right? Uh, universe wise, but they're not directly in the same exact universe. If that makes sense, yeah. It's almost like, uh, like you know, like Loki, right? That whole shit, the multiverse kind of stuff. Mm. Star Wars is one universe. Uh, Star uh, Honkai Impact Third is in another universe, but they have like the parallel characters, like Welt, for example. 
So everyone's just like, what does it mean? What? Let's go. You know, all that stuff. Um. Oh, God damn it, my mouse. Yeah, it just always, always says, um. Oh, okay, I see. So in Honkai Impact's thirds 7.9, that's when it launches, I guess. So I guess this is more of a Honkai Impact third collaboration than Star Rail, unfortunately. Okay. Because I don't play I don't play a Honkai Impact third. <laughs> but I will just be a bystander, I guess, then in this case. <laughs> I like that it says Honkai Honkai. That's really funny. The hashtag. Um, yeah, seven point nine. Stay tuned. Yeah, there's no like big info on it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Two fucking collabs, man, with Star Rail. That's unbelievable. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's really weird because it says, this is my main criticism of Honkai Impact third collab collabs. Why is the other end getting the short stick? Honkai uh, Impact and Genshin, we saw nothing added to Genshin from that collab. Now it's the same thing again, only this time Sarriel gets nothing in this collab. Seems unfair. Not only that, but having Honkai Impact uh, a character in these games through the collabs will be a primary opportunity to get players interested in playing Honkai Impact. Yeah, I mean, that is a good uh, good question to, to bring to the table. It's like, well, yeah, why, why is it? Because um, I remember I remember there was a collab with, the, with Genshin, but only Honkai got it and Genshin didn't. Because um, one of the characters from Genshin was playable for here. But the other way around did not happen. Yeah, there's no equal exchange. It's just Honkai Impact for whatever reason. So then I would expect that at that point, then then Star Rail will get the same treatment for this situation. So I guess it's bittersweet, but I mean, yeah, it's cool for the people who do play Honkai Impact 3rd, obviously. But it's like, why not treat the other end of your fan base like what the fuck this is the same game essentially hoyoverse it's a hoyoverse game so why do that very very strange okay um okay so we are pushing it a little bit so yep um let me see what we can do here so Cause I'm gonna, I'm just gonna just go ahead and open all this stuff. Um, yeah, wrap it. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna like lightning round. Lightning round. Um, yeah. the movie stuff, but I do want to talk about um this for a little bit, which is a game called Mighty Rhea, right? It's kind of like celebrating like um, it's almost like, oops, sorry, the game is like kind of loud, um. It's almost kind of like um like Sentai slash Magical Girl slash action game. Mm. And I believe this is supposed to be an indie game, so yeah, looks pretty cool if that's really the case. Yeah, you can like punch people in like buildings and shit. Like fly around. Yeah, it looks sick. I mean, looks like holy shit. Like the yeah, like the environmental stuff, like effects. Mm. so it's kind of it, it's like it's weird because it's got this like blend of sentai and magical girl 
but also of course with that action game stuff um i don't know what yeah what do you what do you uh what do you make of it fun mm -hmm. yeah like you can like punch the enemy into like buildings they can punch you in buildings too that's the thing so they got like I, like i don't know if the buildings will crumble like that but like at least they uh what do you call it? they have the explosion you know so I don't know how detailed the, the environment will be when you hit them like across the map. It's funny though because she has the same thing as a uh, bayonetta with the the punches. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Um. Yeah. See, I actually like that they uh, showed case the fact that you when you get when you get hit you can get you can like fly through multiple things and it just like explosion after explosion like that kind of cool right boom boom like that so i don't know something about this game i was um kind of like drawn into and i thought hey i mean show the trailer a little bit and uh, it's on steam i think it's only on only on steam from um 505 Games Publishing, and then the indie developer is Wazen. Wazen is uh, behind it. Uh, experience sensational aerial combat against unexpected unworldly threats, otherworldly threats, engaging cast through fun and cheerful hero, hero streamer's story. Okay, so that character is a streamer, I guess. Take advantage of three iconic weapons, over 30 unique actions and attacks, 38 stages and phase 20 24 enemy types so yeah it sounds like a very very ambitious game but um yeah people are comparing it to like gravity rush um let me see yes gravity rush and like an action game oh yeah people are bringing up uh, assault spy which i, I guess is from the same developer Finally, a new Batman sequel we deserve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fan service, please, essentially. Looks and sounds amazing. Wishlisting now. You better believe I've wishlisted. Yeah. It seems like the new thing, right? Like, wishlisting on stream or uh, Steam, excuse me. Already pre-ordered. Um, hmm. Yeah, people are already, like, liking it, loving it. So, I, th I thought I'd bring it up. It's kind of cool. Hope uh, the game succeeds. Um, I want to have the chance to buy it. So, I'm uh, quite uh, drawn into it. Okay. So, um, and then, surprise news, I guess. Flappy Bird is coming back after some sort of, like, foundation group bought the trademark for it. So, remember Flappy, Flappy Bird? Do you remember this game? Yeah. Mm hmm Something happened to it. Okay, so oh, the trademark was not purchased, rather taken from its original creator, Dong uh Win in court by Game Tech Holdings LLC. Ooh, okay, that sounds that doesn't sound as good. Okay. That does not sound as good. Um Ooh, let me see. Oh, there's the actual court thing. Document. Jesus. Okay. That's public. Then, let me see. Um. Oh, okay. So, he didn't... Be, okay, so remember how... Remember how, like, trademarks work? If you don't, like, do anything with it, people can, like, grab it, essentially? Yep. Which is why, like, you, you know, you've been, like, talking about with spider-man right with sony that's that's the opposite end right so because the original creator wasn't doing anything with his trademark someone else and went ahead and bought it so that's fucked up yeah that's fucked up but i guess that's how it works in a world of um franchises um 
And for those who love Flappy Bird, yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll get their return, right? In a way. Get their, uh, time with the, oops. They get, um, they will have a, a fun time, I guess, with Fla uh, Flappy Bird. Okay, sorry about that. So, let's, let's now we can, uh, lightning round this stuff. Okay, so, Borderlands. Uh, ends the thre thre theatrical run with only 31 million, right? Uh, and in the movie was budgeted for 115 million, right? Mm. Very, very unfortunate. But you know, in the end, I think you know. I mean, I didn't watch it, but I can just tell from didn't just from the movie trailer, right? The more I looked at it, and then all the reviews I've seen, it's was not good. Like it was just not paying that much love to the franchise itself. Rather, they're just trying to get away with just making it a generic comedy with Kevin Hart and Kate Blanchett, and um, you know, of course, with um, Jamie Lee Curtis and stuff. But that definitely was not enough. Um, I, I they definitely did not get away with that, and um, the movie sucked because. They did not make this for the fans. And they certainly bombed on making a movie for the casual movie gore. Because writing, the humor, right? Dialogue and stuff, I imagine. So they kind of shot themselves in the foot. And they took a huge L. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I didn't waste my time for, for the theater for this one. You know? Any uh any words for Borderlands? I guess the biggest one to me was the miscasting of um using yeah. like, Kevin Hart. Jesus. For, yeah, I think I think as much as people will want to say that's not the reason, I think that's a pretty big reason. You know. And it's yeah, it's Kevin Hart. You know, no one takes him seriously, unfortunately. Even if he wants to be uh, taking on a more serious role, it, he's that guy right now. So, unfortunate. Oh yeah, there's a clip of uh, Doctor Disrespect. He somehow is streaming on. I think it was YouTube again. or something. Yeah, streaming. He's streaming on. He's streaming again. Either way, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, I think it's on YouTube. But there was an incident. One v five, huh? I'm the only one on this one. Can they reconnect or no? One <laughs> so, pretty much, he was playing a de uh, game called Deadlock, right? Um, I think it's like a arena shooter or something with heroes. And um, he was playing it, but his team all left because, of course, what the um, Doctor Disrespect has been doing, right? Yeah, what transpired. What well, has transpired. So, of course, the opposite team was like... <laughs> Just... <laughs> they want a piece of the Doc. So, they were going in on him, pretty much. And then, yeah, Doc was not having it, so he rage quit. So, yeah. You can tell, like, you can definitely see the screen. No one wanted to be on his team. Nobody. <laughs> as soon as they realized it was Doc... Yeah, people were like, "Yeah, I would have done the same. I would have um, left the game if I was on the same. I was on the same team." And yeah, there was this tweet too. It says, "Um, some about like, are people still streaming uh, video games? What a snooze fest!" And yet he's back on. Um, he's back streaming games. Like, what the fuck are you like? What What is up with this guy at this point? What What are you doing? He's like a fucking clown at this point. He's trying to take back what he admitted, right? With some weird fucking tactics and shit. Thinks he's playing 4D chess. And he's seemingly just not sticking sticking it uh, all that well. So, a once 
pretty much like titan of streaming is now is just a fucking clown. It's like fucking Christ. Yep. It's so sad. So it's such a sad thing. Um, kind of a sad thing here is um, apparently Peter Cushing's likeness was not taken with permission for uh being used in Rogue One. So I guess like even they... though mm. even though the the family the immediate family mm -hmm. said it was okay, but this if I read the article correct, it's the cousin of him, and yeah. also like hey. This has been like eight years mm -hmm. since since Ro or you know X amount of years, but mm -hmm. no one said it was like eight years. So what the fuck? Why only now? Maybe I mean yes, yeah. you know some cases takes a long time, mm -hmm. but still probably, it's like probably was trying to build a case. Yeah, trying to find a yeah. lawyer or something, the right lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. the right lawyer to, but a lawyer to go against um at this point Disney. Yeah. yeah. Your lawyer better have have good, you know. No other way, good stats to mm -hmm. kind of like combat yes. um, Disney's mm -hmm. lawyers, and yeah, they're yeah. well legal sort of team, if you will. Yeah. Um, it says, um, Highburn Film Productions, ran by one of Cushing's oldest friends. Claims they had a deal with Cushing that gave the company a veto over the recreation of his image <laughs> with special effect. He was supposed to appear in a TV film that was never made. Disney tried to get the bid thrown out, but it was rejected, and a judge ruled the case should go uh, to trial. Lucasfilm argued that they owned the rights to using Cushing's image from the original Star Wars movie. Um, yeah, so this comes from the times shown by Culture Crave. So, mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I get, I'm, I'm guessing Peter Cushing was not a Disney Plus subscriber. <laughs> oh man, that, uh, but see, oldest friend, yeah. That's already to me like, okay, so you're his friend. I get it. Thank you. But mm. you're not the immediate family that does have the final say of mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. I'm sorry. That That's how it is. Mm -hmm. You're not the immediate family. It just sounds like, yeah, it looks like he had something going, but then it didn't go through and he's just kind of like mad about it and wants yeah. a piece of that pie. Maybe. As, as, in some in, in some weird possible way for him to get some of that Disney money or something and yeah. try to make yeah and try to make this the excuse right they had a deal but it didn't go through that's what it sounds like but I guess the a judge said they can go on trial for it so that's that's weird yeah right I'm all, I'm all... Yeah, which again, it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, you can bring it to trial, but again, at the end of the day, it's like, how much money you have? Mm -hmm. How much you want to do this dance for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disney can do this dance forever. Yeah. They, yeah. They you can. probably like maybe two days stops. Yeah. They, yeah. What they lose in court probably can be gained at latest a week. Right, probably knowing how much Disney makes money, how much they make money. So, um, Godspeed for uh, this person, I guess. But yeah, you're it's definitely David versus Goliath, and uh, the Goliath is gonna just crush the shit out of him, is what it sounds like, unless that lawyer of his is, has a, some sort of power move or something. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I think it's uh, very unlikely, but you just uh, never know, I guess. Alright. Lastly, I believe, is um, more on um, let me see. Um, let me uh, Oh, I think, oh, actually, I think this is a, oh, this, I think this is from the, yes, okay. 
I, I forgot to delete this uh, link. So, okay, so we don't have to talk about it. All right. I think we are done. For the most part. So, woohoo! We did it. So, that would be it for this uh, episode of the Hypecast. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, I know I, I kind of went on the tangent for Powerpuff Girls and fucking Hoyo <laughs> uh, stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's what happens here. <laughs> yep. That's what happens. So, thank you guys. Um, I'm glad we were able to talk about it though on uh, today because, yeah, you know, James Earl Jones and the PlayStation 5 stuff. Like, Jesus, man. Yeah. Definitely had to chat about it. So with that, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back hopefully uh, for next week um, on, on, on the Saturday, I believe, right? Well, I think we should be back on the Saturday sat uh, schedule. But uh, either way, um, thank you very much. We'll be back uh, with something on, on a day. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll uh, hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye.